Just, just give me a moment. As per normal, I am uh, very underprepared for the stream. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, that should be paused. There's something I just, like, legit just want to check on Twitch real quick. But I also wanted to start talking now. I was going to show this XQC clip, but you can find it on YouTube anyway. It's just called XQC's Ducks uh, Came Back. Such a wholesome clip. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Um, I would do that too. I honestly didn't even know what else to title the stream at this point, so I was like, well, screw it, we'll just call it Season 2. Because, like, to be honest, I, I got... Well, actually, I won't even spoil... Actually, never mind. <laughs> I put it in the title already. Uh, it's just like... Um, now with shaders. Yeah, I need to update my Twitch panels again. Because I'm using a different font for the new one, which is the rules one. It's just I had to put the rules there again. Just to be clear that, like, you know... I don't like it when you talk to me about, you know... Purchasing stuff from you on stream. Like, I prefer, like, we leave that stuff to direct messaging, you know? And I'm least likely to trust somebody who can't just follow a simple rule of, like, you know, not mentioning that sort of stuff on stream. So I have to leave the rules there again. So, that they, like, there's twice now. There's two different ones. There's, like, well, they're both the same copy-paste. It's, like, I leave one now there in the panels, and then I leave one before you chat for the first time. But, yeah, anyway, sorry. Just had to do all that. Right. I think we're ready to go, then. Right, let's have a look at the shaders once I actually get rid of this. Hold on. Um, not, wait, which one is it? There it is. Right. And we still haven't used... I just realized we haven't used the main scene for a long time because it just does this. <laughs> it's just like... It's still the Terraria death count and all, man. I really need to get, like, talking to Panda again soon and let us continue the series. But anyway... Let me just wait till it's on screen. So yeah, th this is why we're calling this season two. I, 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 again, I didn't know what else to call it, but it's actually a good excuse to call it season two because now we have shaders. Now, are they the best shaders in the world? I don't know, but it's just, it's still weirdly cool to actually be in a Minecraft world with shaders again. Like, look at that, man. The light is leaking in through the bars. It's so cool. I miss this, like, sort of shit of actually having, like, shaders in the world. Now, if only if the torches were, like, uh, li uh, they could also lit up as well. Because, like, it honestly does give the world a little bit of a different feel. Like, when you're looking around, it's all, like, you know, proper clouds. And, you know, you actually have, like, you know, even just me turning my head there. You could just see just behind me here, like, just the um, light going onto the actual totem. Like, it's just so cool. Isn't that? Like, this is one of the things I was meant to do for a while, and I actually got to do it. Now, I will admit as well, actually, I was going to get the crowd control thing set up for the stream as well. And we'd hop into a different world and do that once I've, like, essentially just looked a bit maybe around this world. Or just started straight into the crowd control part. But as far as I read in the uh, crowd control I was trying to set up, it's like, you can only uh, do thing if you um actually, like, pay for their premium service and... I don't know if I really want to be paying a premium just to uh, allow people to interact with the stream. The whole point is, like, you're meant to be able to interact with the stream for free. And I also should be able to set it all up for free as well. So there probably is some other, like, service that does the same thing but is free. Now, whether it's as good as Crowd Control is beyond me. But Crowd Control is a good kind of, like, package deal where it's, like, you get it for, like, a bunch of different games. Not just Minecraft. You get it for, like, Minecraft... Even some really old game, like the um, old Pokemon games and Donkey Kong games and all that sort of stuff. I think I even seen a, um, I think it was like a Breath of the Wild as well was like one of the games you can um, have crowd control on for. But I don't know how much Nintendo would like that, to be honest, though. <laughs> we'll never touch the realm of like Nintendo games unless like I feel safe enough like actually playing them. So I feel like Nintendo would actually breathe down my neck, like, even when it comes to making a character in Sherry Albert's story, if I accidentally call them, like, uh, Mario in the story, it's just like, hmm, th did you call your, like, character Mario? And, like, do they have, like, 1% red on them? And do they have, like, a hint of an Italian accent? Okay, you know what? No, no, we're not having this. You are getting sued. 
I, I just can't trust Nintendo, honestly. Oh, look how much more moody it looks in here. It just looks so cool. I will admit, though, it is kind of... I think it's just because we're back in the village that it's getting a bit laggier because of all the animals. It just... It, it immediately starts thinning out the herd. But it is really nice, though, to finally have shaders in the thing. It is weird, though, if you look at the past streams. Oh! Okay, so there are professions in this village. That you See that yoke there, the lectern? I'm literally pointing to my screen IRL as well. Anyway, you see that, like, this yoke here, right? If you, um, become a librarian too, you'll be very well worshipped, trust. And then, oh my god, the anvil is so shiny. Is my computer going to explode, like? I don't think it's meant to be able to handle that. I think, where is the video? Yeah, see, it's all different kind of stuff here now. It's a bit easier to read. Per second, this can help reduce battery usage. I mean, I could just, like, push that down 60, because that's all my thing can go to. Autosave indicator. Do I even have autosave? I shouldn't have, do I? Quality graphics fancy. I, I don't know which one's which. Clouds are off, but then again, they're still in the sky. Particles all. Mini maps performance. I should have done some of this before starting, but like, you know. And then there's the shader pack options. I just chose this one. But I think it must have detected that I had other, like, shader packs on my computer, which is kind of concerning, to be honest. Uh, how do I back out? Well, I, I pressed X and it didn't even back out. Undo. Done. Cool. Um... I still need it. So that's like one of the other things I now need to make as well. It's like my own skin. But again, it's just taking the effort to do it though. It's different. Wow, look how cool, like nice that looks. I'm sorry. This is just going to be me now. Just looking at different shit in the game. And just be like, damn, look how much better this looks because of the shaders. And like this is the intro house as well. This is where it basically started as well. You know, I'm actually going to be not cruel and actually... um. Give the golem some uh, iron. Where is um? There it is. I'm generous. Where is he? There you go. I'm feeling generous right now. Right, and it also feels kind of off because I don't think I've played Minecraft enough. With my mouse in its current settings. I turned off like, um, enhanced, like, pointer precision or something like that on the mouse. And it's meant to make it better for me to do certain things, but yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I might have to turn something down. Oh. Well, shit. Not too long into the game and we're already making holes in the ground. Right, so my idea last time was to legit just go to a corner of the map and just set up another new base and do stuff there. Because going all the way out to the Woodland Mansion kind of distance again is a bit much. But yeah. I wonder if I could still get an achievement in this or if it doesn't want to do that anymore because it's modded. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind at that point. It's just, it just is how it is. Wait, am I? Yeah, no, my model's alright. I thought my model wasn't alright for a minute. I think the best thing I can do... Uh, it should be in this, shouldn't it? Yeah, render distance. So render distance will just turn down to like a max shadow render distance. We'll turn that down to like a simulated distance apply. I think that should be a little bit better. But yeah, the whole point of a texture pack like this though is to actually see the shaders so like on the ground and stuff. It would be a shame not to see the shaders, or the shadows. I'm sorry for calling them, like, thing. But yeah, hopefully, like, next time, well, I say next time, hopefully sometime in the future I'll actually get a crow control, like, service set up for one of the Minecraft uh, streams. Because I do want to do it, it's just, like, an effort to do it, though. Right, I think, as well as that, actually, to be honest, is there really a point? 
I should have really made the door here, shouldn't I? But then again, I would have had to do stuff there. Eh, it is how it is. Oh, I'm, I'm saying the phrase again, God damn it! I don't think I'll ever pass a day in my life now without saying it is what it is. It's just ingrained into my person now. Can't do that. That's only one anyway. And then I want to put the leather away back in that house. I also want to stay up real quick just to see what the um, what it looks like at night real quick. And then that's my normal map. That's the pumpkin. Are you? Are you okay? Please stop. It's so annoying. I might have to just take the, like. Um, yokes off just so I don't have to worry about it. Well, actually, unless I just hold on. To be honest, yeah, it should only be on the inside. What if like a creeper's on the outside? They just like walk in, honestly. Um, redstone. I thought I had. I mean, technically, nah. I'll put in the other chest. Uh. Oh yeah, leather, that's it. Sorry, gentlemen, coming through. There you go, and I don't know where these go, so I'm just going to leave them there and just leave it <laughs> as it is. Okay. Actually, what does... You know, enchanted stuff still looks enchanted. I thought for a minute it would actually change them a bit too much. Right. I'm just gonna wait at this point just till night falls. I can't. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I can't hop up onto that. Yeah, because I'm a block or half a block lower. Let's watch the sunset. Whoa. Okay, that was, whoa, that was way too far. I didn't expect that to go that far. And man, look at the water out. Look at how nice the water is as well. Just me and the squad just. Watching the sunset over the nice shining water. You know how it do be. Yeah, I seriously need to look into holidays. It's like I haven't even been... Actually, no, it's probably... Oh, yeah, no, this next week will be by, like, the end of my second month, technically, working at my job. And then next week... Yeah, yeah, no, next week is the bank holiday... Monday, I believe, as well, so that's another day off for me. Matt, look how nice everything looks when it starts to get dark. I can't get over it. I miss having a shader. And this is what I needed. I just needed, like, a shader pack on. I genuinely thought that was a creeper for a moment. It's going to get some, get like, getting used to, honestly, because, like, I'm just not used to this sort of, like... Um, beautifulness, I'll just say. And actually, now that I'm out here, I might as well actually do this as well. Because I never bothered to light these up before. The sun, or the moon, is essentially just a reverse sun. It's just like, it's beaming nearly as much as the sun, like. God, it is kind of blinding though. Can I turn up the brightness? Wait, options. Brightness. Oh, no, brightness is as high as it can go. This is the highest we'll get brightness. We just have to hope the moon isn't in my eyes, because honest to God, the moon is actually so bright. Like, That's like actually ridiculous how bright the moon is. But then again, I could switch the other pack. Just see... Uh, I think it was this one. Oh, that's a different mood. I think it's nicer as well, because I can actually fucking see where I'm going, like. Yeah, I kind of like this, honestly. Well, let me go to sleep and see what day is like. Like, it is nice having the sun shine and the moon glow as well, but, like, 
Yeah, see, I don't mind this now. Yeah, see, I feel, I feel like that is a lot better. It's not as bright as thing, and, like, I don't necessarily need my brightness full, so I could turn it down a bit, but it'll depend. But yeah, I didn't even think I could pull something like this off. I thought, like, once I downloaded the shader, I'd have to actually start a brand new world, but thank God I could just apply a shader to my current world. And I know other people have done it before, but I'm such a boomer when it comes to, like, modding games. Especially because I still haven't really gone into that avenue, you know, of actually, like, taking the time to just mod games, like, on PC, when I really should. It would actually add so much replay value to, like, a lot of games. Oh, I'm just checking, yeah. I always have to check. Oh, and just for this stream as well, we got some music in the back. Um... Okay. If I'm not gonna move any chests, I think it's an <laughs> another nice time to go out for uh, another stroll to the edge of the map. And then create another, like, base in the corner. Uh, I won't bring the wolves with me this time, because, like, there's not really a point. Because I'm not really going to war this time, I'm just going to, like, actually just chill again. You know, the art style for the world has been increased in uh, its budget. So we gotta keep going. Right, I've got the leather boot. Is there anything I really need here? I don't think so. Yeah, I'd bring both at that point. I should, yeah, okay, maybe bringing an extra shovel would be nice. Because again, we're only going to the corner of the map. I could just like, essentially bring the bare minimum and it'd be enough. Is that three already? Right. Okay, yep, red. We don't even need a shear and a sheep, we're good. Put that in there. Uh, then I can create a bed. And then... Um, yeah, we have enough food. Again, home won't be too far this time. I'm only going to the corner of the map. Uh, I think I'll just leave most stuff that we have here, here, honestly. Because there's not really much point bringing too many things. Actually, let me turn this gold. Gold. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, I could only do it once, that's why. Wait. No, I wanna... Wait, which way am I... No, yeah, I want this, there you go. <laughs> My brain actually just lagged there. My brain was like, what do, what do I want again? Oh, I want this? Okay, we, we get that. Right, okay. Donkey, you don't have anything on you, do you? Ah, grad. And then, we, we have wood anyway, if I want to build something. I just need my map now. It should be grand. <laughs> you could just see it behind the thing. I wish, like... I wish the map would overtake the sound effects. Or not the sound effects, the subtitles. Because I I'm, I'm literally have to do this now. I have to swap hand just because it's so difficult to see it. And I know it's behind me now, but like we'll be just going up that side of the map anyway, so... Not really too much that needs to be seen, but it's nice to see even just a little bit of the map. Right, onwards to another journey. Where we'll hopefully not find anything malicious out here. We're just going out on an expedition. Maybe if we find a village, we can chill there. And then we can do our bits. Oh, actually, don't remember. <laughs> Man, we're not even too far away from the village and I'm already remembering something. I remember that, like, if I was going to... Uh, do another kind of like mining thing at the end of the map. Oh god, okay, wait. That I'd actually bring some obsidian with me. Just so I can make a portal and go into nether. Oh my god, can I hop over? Thank you. Okay, don't go too far, please. Actually, you know what? I don't trust you. I don't even trust myself. But I might have to. Yeah, 11 should be enough. And then, actually, in case I... Um, 
There it is, the respawn beacon. Oh, you just need glowstone? Hold on, wait. Oh, donkey? Where? Oh, there you are. Just stay here for a minute. I might, I might actually just make that... Oh, I don't have any. Okay. Okay, change of plan. We're going to the nether. Uh, you're going to go back here, though. I want to actually make that, like, respawn beacon. Because I, I think I was saying to myself a lot of the times that I've wanted to actually make one. On the odd chance that I'd want to respawn in the nether. Hold on, let me just... There's so many different things I have to do now. Uh, okay, I need gold. That'll work. Let's hope it's not a ridiculous amount of height I have to build up just to get to it, though. Ah, we'll get blocks when we're in there. Murders your crows. Is that like a play on words for like a murder of crows? Oh, the nether looks so cool. It's got this like orange kind of tin. And I already see glowstone, but I kind of want to go to like somewhere that's a bit like closer to the ground. Like there, that one. Can you not read? Yeah, murders your crows. Oh, I actually am blind. Apologies. Go on, you can stack it up now. One of the many different mistakes I have now under my belt. Oh, fuck, man, that's high. Okay, I could just go over here, actually, and it'd be a lot easier. And the enemy's eyes as well glow a bit better, so I can see them. But yeah, apologies, I see it now. It says cows. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I have cows in Minecraft as well. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's not look down too much. Because I'd rather not fight the Enderman right now. Hello, Enderman. How's it going? This is going to be a nightmare getting up and down. I mean, I... Wait, actually, I could just get rid of the tree. Or partly get rid of it. Oh, my God! Fella, 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 you're right. You're right, mate. You are right. Fella legit went right on top of me just so I look into his eyes. And I look back down this way towards two of them. Like, they really want to pick a fight with me. They've heard of me uh, wanting to travel to the corner of the map. They're like, nah, bro. We're going to have to reset your ranks real quick. Okay, wait, I've gone a bit too high. Oh, but bro, so, like, <laughs> the glowstone is surprisingly very bright. There we go. Just give me a minute. The Endermen are just really self-conscious about their eyes. Ah, they shouldn't be. They have no problem. Like, they have no problem. They have lovely eyes. I would say I'd like purple eyes, but I literally could just set that on my model at any time. <laughs> I wouldn't actually mind, like, I think at one point when, especially when you think of cosplaying and going to, like, conventions, I have thought about actually getting, like, color contacts to see, like, what my eyes would be like in different colors, but just the effort of getting the right ones from the right place, because I never really know where to buy them. Ah, there we go. Maybe you should get them some glasses. Ah, yeah, honestly, glasses are nice. I remember at one point in fucking time where, like, glasses used to be just considered very, like, nerdy and all this sort of shite. But, like, now it's kind of just, like, it's just good. That's why I wear glasses now on my model. IRL, I don't wear glasses, but I probably do need glasses soon, to be honest. Okay, I need to try and not look towards the end of that. And it would be nice as well if I got myself an actual, um, <coughs> new axe. I'm pretty sure there's a diamond axe in Yoke. Where's... Wait, where's the box? Did I go the wrong way? If you can't read a simple text message, you definitely need glasses. No, I just need my brain cells to actually align themselves correctly. It's not a m matter of, like, my eyes. It's more of a matter of my head. Um... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of lost. 
And it's only because I now have shaders on in the game, and it's like, the fog is kind of like, tripping me up on where I need to go. Right, I think I saw that up there. Ow. Ah, there it is. I literally was like, that's my beacon back home. But, you know, I, I think potentially I might actually start losing my vision, like, long distance IRL. So, like, when I'm looking at shit from afar, I don't, I think it's starting to blur. Hey, Pokey, how's it going? Or Poke, whichever one. I apologize. I'm always bad with names. How's it going now? Let me see. Look how much better that looks now. Now that the shader's on. And now that I can actually look at the sun. Before in the other, like, um, texture pack, it was so blinding, like. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm just, um, getting, uh, schooled because I can't read a sentence, but, you know, it is how it is. God damn, I keep fucking saying that sentence. <laughs> I actually want to try and weasel that out of my vocabulary, but I can't. It's impossible. Yeah, no, at night is just nice in this as well. I can't get over how, like... Just like, just a little change of just having some shaders on, just, ah, uh, I don't know. And again, just thinking about the old VODs and like how they're going to look when you just suddenly transition into this one. I think that's the another reason why I named the stream like season two. Because it would make sense that like, you know, this is the same world, it's just with shaders on now. Because I actually wanted to put them on front. Eh, eh, eh. You're trapped. <laughs> Fella's trying. He's trying to run, but he can't get out. Um. Oh, yeah. I was too lazy, and I started putting that in there. Uh, let me put this here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I wanted a glowstone so I could make respawn anchor. Okay, and I just need to craft them into their blocks. Right, that that could have gone by a lot faster. Oh, wait, it's four, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Me small brain. And then I think it was this, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Finally, the crying obsidian has use. It has, like, a purpose here. Right, and then... As far as I'm aware, I just need to go back now to the nether and actually place it down. It's just so, like, if I do die in the nether, at least I can actually go straight from... Uh, the boxes, we'll call it, to the... Uh, place where I died in the nether. How do I... Oh, wait, do I need to... I don't know how this works. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue how this works. I thought you just, like, click on it and it does thing. Oh, wait, maybe I need... Do I need full? There we go, now it works. And then you can fill that up to four. Two, three. Let's go. <laughs> Not quite nine lives, but still, it's enough. Oh, but that'll be an issue though, won't it? Because like, if I'm going to go into the nether in a different portion of the map and I die in the nether, like let's say I go out that way and I go into the nether down there and I die around that area, wouldn't I just spawn there? Never thought about that. Oh well, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, and look, the little bit of, like, purple there is actually shining through with the sun. Again, I, I just love shaders. It's just, I I'm amazed, like, it like took me this long to get to this point. But you'd be surprised with what, like, what boredom does to you. It really makes you, like, start to do things you've had on your list for a while. Um, let me place, I actually don't, yeah, just right there. Keep that place that okay. Actually, I'm gonna move <laughs> just yeah, I'll put it here instead. There we go, and then place that in there. Keep that uh, the glowstone. I don't necessarily need, so I'll just place it like there, I guess. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Somewhere in the back of my cranium. That just makes sense. Oh, and actually, it would be nice if I, like, put on these. Oh. be nice if I didn't drop my food. Alright, come on. You're free to go. Where are you? 
You are free to go, cat. Go. Go, be free. The villagers just like, bro, why did you let out my cat for? Like... I don't, I don't, again, I don't really need much. I just, yeah, I think I can go. I just need to put this away. And then I'll bring the axe as well, just so, oh wait. Ah, yeah, Joe, that's not going to last, to be honest with you. Right, come on, donkey. Time to go. Where are you? Literally can't see anymore. Uh, wait, where did the map say? Wait, was it? No, it was the other hand. Because of all the uh, subtitles. Right. We are going this way. We're going to go to the corner of the map. Maybe even discover a little bit more of the map ahead of us. And we'll go from there. We'll set up another new base. We'll go from there. I say base, but I mean like we're going to set up like a little box. Go mining for two seconds. Find Skulk and run away. Because, bro, honestly, from the times I encountered the warden out there, when I was near the um, Woodland Mansion, I think I'm good. I don't think I really want any more encounters with him. Like, even if I have full netherite, I don't think I want to encounter the warden. Like, I'd have to play it safe and actually be far away from the warden in order to actually do anything to him. I'd have to set up an arena. <laughs> Start fucking set up an arena, like, in Terraria. Build up, like, yeah, build up, like, around, like, 12 blocks. Make platforms across. Build up another 12 or so. Build blocks across, like. Right, hold on. Let me get this a little bit. Okay. Hmm. This is why we have Frostwalkers. Because Frostwalkers are arguably one of the best boots I have right now. Especially for traversing. There we go. Oh, but it's so annoying because, like, half the blocks aren't even turning to ice. Come on. There you go. Just until we get out of the swamp. There we go. But yeah, hopefully the music's all good and stuff. Because, like, I have to turn it on and off. I need to remember to actually turn it off when I play a game, though. Because, like... There's a whole, like, four hours of Resident Evil 4 yesterday I played, and it's just, like, there's just the background music just casually playing in the background. I hate when stuff like that happens, because I can't really just, you know, go back and re-record that. Like, once it's done, it's done, like. Like, maybe if I was doing a video, but, like, I'd have to be saving in multiple slots, though. But as you could probably tell, like, from yesterday's uh, Resident Evil 4 stream, I don't actually, like... I don't save a lot in different slots. I usually keep it compact in the uh, few slots. Because I, I have, like, the original playthrough I did last... Actually, no, at the start... Well, started last month and a bit into this month, I think it was. Then there's the hardcore playthrough, which I just went through recently. And then there's the... Potential of a future... Another one in the future for, prof eh, for professional... But to be honest, I think it is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. I think it's... Yeah, no, it is a follower goal. But I just don't know how far away it is as a follower goal. Man, just when you think it's land out here and it's actually just more water. Like, I, I actually genuinely hate this map, but I'm just too lazy now to move away from it. Like, I found the village down there. We stay here. Maybe that'll be it. Just a big future project. We start, like, just... Covering the whole ocean full of, like, uh, dirt until we reach, like, ocean monuments. Okay, I think we... Okay, I'm gonna get off and get on. But watch there just be more swamp and water. I just mainly want to get, like, all the, uh... This part of the map filled in. Okay, yeah, there's more water. Come on. Not that high. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Come on. Man, actually, this would be perfect if I had a Shrek skin. Just Shrek and Donkey out in the swamps. Maybe I should actually make it like a swamp uh, thing at some point. Hello there. <laughs> would you like to come with us? 
I mean, why not, honestly? Why not bring along, like, more entertainment? Fellow's just trying to exist and do his own thing, and I'm just like, oh, what a cute animal. I'll take you with me. Oh, man, I'm not gonna lie. I just thought of it there randomly, but... I actually hate the state of YouTube comments, to be honest. Like, there are some, like, genuine, like comments about various things like yesterday I got asked um oh no the lead I think I got it no I didn't get it where'd it go there it is okay I think transporting the frog is going to be a bit of an issue so we'll, we'll leave him alone but um a lot of the comments now are just like they're just too samey is this how boomers feel when like or not even boomers just like how people feel when a meme's been just used over and over again because that's basically what YouTube comments are. It's just the same, like, kind of, like, copy-paste comment just over and over. But they change, like, two words. Oh, there's a pillager. I've seen them just over there. There they are. Are they on their own? kind of want to attack them. Oh, no, I see the others, yeah. Never mind. Right, uh, Donkey, I think, um... Oh yeah, that's another thing I never made. Or never brought with me, is, uh, actual fencing. Oh, yeah, I can... I can play stuff, don't mind me. There we go. Okay, I could go over and attack now, or I could just wait patiently for night, sleep, and then attack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Da -da 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 -bum -bum -bum. Right. Wait, where are they? Yeah? Oh, this way, yeah. I couldn't see because the sun blinded me, like. Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, that's a bit aggressive. That's a bit aggressive. I should really have my shield out, shouldn't I, instead? Okay, donkey, this might be a problem. This might be a problem. Oh my god. Sorry, excuse me, going through. And I don't have arrows either. Trust me to pick a fight with pillagers and not be well equipped for it. Sorry, excuse me, coming through. Whoa! There we go. Now I've got the height advantage. I say that, but am I really going to be able to get them? Ow! I'm trying to drop down, like... Shit, I got the bad omen now. Okay. That definitely went well. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And all I got was an ominous banner for it. That felt worth it. Uh, right, I think... Yeah, I'll leave most shell here. I'll just bring the bed with me. Right. Oh, yeah. I need to also put this here. Then just leave that in that hand in case I die. Okay, we're literally just filling in now this little slot. And then I'll actually go to the corner and see what's up. Maybe we will, at this point, actually end up just, like, camping out in a swamp. And... So once we hit snow, that's when... I've checked it out. Yeah, I can see snow up there. There we go. Success. Eventually I'll travel the oceans again, or sail the oceans. But for today, we are going... Actually, I'm going to go north. Okay, hold on. Be careful. It'd be a tragic now if I actually started to sink in the snow. Damn, that tree is just bossing. Okay. Because I see a few pixels at the very top that aren't, like, filled in. It's like, I gotta fill them in. 
Oh, excuse, 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 excuse. Okay, you're really gonna push me from behind whilst I'm trying to get this. Kind of rude. There we go. Okay, onwards. There we go. You know, I did have a kind of thought again about the idea of like, um, because it's been mentioned to me a few times about like getting a um, what do you call it? A commissioned like model. However, that's not to say I'm going to get one. It's just like a far future kind of idea, where it's just like for a follower goals like in the future. It's like oh, wear this model again for this amount of time. I feel like being customizable VTuber actually does help me in that like kind of realm. So it's like if I default to a new different kind of model, it's like oh well I can just say that this is thing model for this, you know. And we're wearing this model because we hit this goal and all that. Because it is such a shame because there is um, a VTuber um, model designer that I recently seen a clip of. And they were just talk about how it's like a bit depressing how like basically when it comes to them making models for people it's just like for them in particular it's like they've made five total and you're like oh I'm not going to really use my model that much. However, my model has still got more screen time than the other models I've ever made for people. And that is actually kind of depressing when you think about that. So if I ever got like a model commissioned, I'd have to like... I'd feel obliged to at least try to wear it more than one occasion. Like we'd have a period of time where it's like, oh yeah, this is the new model. da dee da doo and all that, you know? And if that model can also be customized, that's even better because that means like the model's more likely to be used in this model, you know? I just use this model because I could, well, basically create it to my own standards, you know? But if there's, like, somebody who can make a model out there and knows how customization works, and if I could just do it through, like, a certain software, you know, that definitely would be handy. But at the same token, this is, like, you rarely see many different variants. I think, like, when you make a toggle for a model, it's different than just you know, switching a slider on and off to be like, oh, I want the character's hair to be blue today. And, you know, I want them to go back to the default color, you know, and all this, like. But yeah, oh my god, yeah, we're actually going to be staying in a swamp at this point if I stay out here. I think I changed my mind. It's like, do, do I really want to camp out in a swamp? To be honest, I could go back this way. Because, or was it this way? One of the ways, there's like an actual forest with a lot of trees and stuff. I feel like that would be a better place to stay rather than being staying in like a swamp. It's just the terrain for a swamp is not an ideal place to stay. Especially if I somehow stay long enough to start like growing stuff and like making a farm. Sure, I can do it, but it's just like, do I want to make it that awkward for myself? I could always just make it a bit easier for myself, you know, and just not do that. Let's see, if I go... Oh, well, not this way. Come on. Ah, oh, you won't. I actually will. Thank you. Now, they're... Yeah, they're swamp trees. I'm trying to look at the map and... Okay, to be honest, if I just go towards the snow, <laughs> that, that's the easiest thing I could do. Just go towards the snow and you'll have a better chance of actually not, like, living in a swamp. But then again, I don't know if it's really good to live near a mountain. Ah, sure, but yes, we'll give it a shot, yeah? Plus, maybe we can do something cool, like, you know, build it outside here and just make it go all the way up or something like that. Because I'm definitely not going to be building a house on top of a mountain. That, that's a mistake and a half. Because especially, like, if you're starting to travel, like, a lot in the world, you'd just be going up and down all the time. Let's see. Now, the question is, though, how high do I want to stay just here? Or do I want to come down a bit? I think I want to come down a bit. Because, like, maybe just on the borderline between the swamp and this spruce biome would be handy enough. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah, you're not going to fit that. Oh, oh. 
Don't fall off, please. Thank you. Um. Hmm. Okay, to be honest, there is the... <laughs> it's just like, now that I'm here and just looking at it, it's like, okay, you know, there, there's like the other corner of the map we could just check out real quick. It could be better. could be worse. We'll see. And then we're definitely not going to the, like, top left and bottom left, because that, that is literally just water. And even beyond, like, the map, it's just water. I'm not even going to bother check them out for, like, potential base spots. But I do want to settle somewhere. Either that, or we could just go back to the village and just do anything else, you know? There's the pirate ship I've passed a couple dozen times. I don't think I'm going to do anything to those. I think I'm just going to leave the, like, sunken pirate ships just as a thingy my bob. I can't remember how you get scoot, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Donkey must be so tired. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, can we actually, like, not keep, like, going round over and over? It's like, no, we must travel. We must travel and see the beautiful world, especially because it's in shaders now. Season 2 now is just, first episode is a showcase of the animation. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be going with the um, anime kind of titling forever. It's just because it was such a like funny title to me that I was like, ah oh, yeah, go on, just name it the filler movie arc. Because like. all it was, it was literally just me traveling home and then that's it. Like there's not much else to that, like Minecraft VOD. Okay, yeah, I'll go around this. Actually, wait. No, I'll go this way because... I mean, it doesn't really matter. Either or, you're going to end up on the other side, like... Excuse me? Honestly, even this kind of area is not that bad. It's kind of nice. Now, having that there is, like, your, like, uh, identifier to, like, where you are. It's pretty cool. Right, before I keep going, though, I need to actually uh, rest up. We need we need to buy an hour and a half as well. I better not pass my own village, man. Well, to be honest, if I'm looking at the map, I will pass the village, but like if I stay on the coastline, I should be able to stay out of it. I don't want to bring ruin to a village I've been trying to create, you know? Oh, wait, why did I do that? Oh, do I have... I... Hello? Ice? There we go. That that was weird. I don't know why that didn't work immediately, but... Ah, sure, but yes, look at we'll move. But yeah, no, imagine how weird it would be if I actually did learn, like, Irish all by heart. And confusing people by saying shit in Irish. There'd be, like, nobody that would basically be able to understand me. I'd just be appeal like appealing the um to the Gale Talk VTuber audience. <laughs> Gale Talks, by the way, are uh, regions in Ireland where they only speak Irish and they don't speak any other languages. I'm assuming they probably do learn English as well though, because like you know, it's kind of hard not to learn English nowadays to be able to travel to certain places and whatnot. But yeah. Cause I think English is the most spoken language. Other than that, it's either I think Hindi or Chinese or something like that. And of course English is like top three. And even if you go to somewhere like, I think it was like South Korea, like a lot of people there like learn English as well as um, Korean. Cause it's just like, you know, it's nearly a given. If you want to be able to travel the world one day, you want to learn like a bit of English as well. Like, so when you're traveling, you have less like worries about it, you know? Now you see, would, would I be a bad father if I told my like son, daughter, whatever they want to identify as? If I Would I be bad if I was telling them, you know what, H how about you try learning another language? Don't be like me and be dumb. You, you know, you can be like a bit smarter and you can actually learn another language. So if you want to travel in the future to another place, you can. But to be fair, when it comes to learning a language that's not English, you're basically setting yourself up to being like, okay, am I learning this language to just know the language and go to certain places like a limited amount of places or am I like learning this language just for other reasons because to be honest like 
even just being like um like a streamer or something like that is like good enough reason to learn another language. Oh, I think yeah, no, I I think um I think I've been here. Yeah, no, with the way, yeah, I dug this out. That's an empty map. And yeah, I dug in there. Yeah, I remember this now. It's just weird, right? Because this is like the section of the, like, um, VODs for Minecraft now. Where it's like, I'm going back over places I've been already. And just looking at what they look like now. With shaders. Because it's like, they may be shaded now, but I do still recognize them. My brain hasn't gone and melted that far. Which actually, speaking of brain melting, there's like a new, um podcast series with Jacksepticeye and um, Crank Gameplays. It's actually not that bad for the first episode. I'd probably be listening to it more because all the other podcasts they used to listen to just don't exist anymore. Or have lost interest in them. The only one I listen to like religiously is probably uh, Trash Taste. And I used to listen to the one Rick Kakis used to do, the Destiny YouTuber. But then they went, well essentially they went on hiatus and were like, oh we'll probably come back. They, they haven't come back. <laughs> They're all too busy with their, like, kids, honestly. That it's like, they're probably just not able to find the time to also juggle, like, the podcast anymore. Which is probably a good call for them, honestly. But, yeah. There's that one. And then I think there was one other one I was listening to. I think it was Distractable, but, like, I just stopped, like, listening to it for some reason. I can't remember why. I think it's just because I was overloaded with various different stuff at the time, and I was like... Well, I gotta cut something, and I guess Distractable had to go. Not to say, like, it, it was bad or anything like that. It's just, like, you know, there's only so many hour... Well, not hour long, but hours of content you can listen to per week whilst doing other shit where, you know, if you almost fall down there, you might die. But, um... There's only so much, like, hours of content you can consume from podcasts before it's just, like, too much, you know? Yeah, you know, maybe if I... <laughs> But if I brought back the podcast, no excuse, you have to listen to it. Just me by myself. Basically doing this same shit that I'm doing now. Except, like, the quality would be just the same throughout. Because it's literally just one uploaded continuous thing. Okay, as crazy as it sounds, I do kind of want to live here to see how long it would take before I, like, delve into madness. Because everything is just birch. <laughs> it's just, you know, like, if I lived in this area, I would have to make a birch house. It'd be unavoidable at that point. You don't come to a birch biome if you're not going to make a birch house, like, even if you hate the wood. It's like, it's, well, okay, there is oak here as well. But it's like one of the only woods. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. There, there's so much oak just spawning in in existence now. Where it's just not proving my point anymore. Right, let me just get up here real quick. Oh, wait. I think here would be a nice spot. We're at the corner of the map. We got a big vantage point we can go up there to look at. Yeah, I think I'm ready to actually settle, honestly. Finally. It took me a while, but we're here. Right, and then you only have the banner, don't you? So there's not really any worry about a uh, thing. This is gonna break. I can feel it, man. It's gonna break soon. Told you. Right. Oh, yeah, and Joe, it would be nice if you kept this in your hand. And if you kept... Actually, to be honest... Yeah, leave it there for a minute. Hello, cow. I feel like the like longer you live here, the more wood you start to take away, the more space you'll have to do stuff. Unless I do a recreation of the... Um, the house I built in the YouTube series. When I was, like, playing on Bedrock for whatever reason. I think I still had the option of, like, Java. But for some reason, I just chose to do it on Bedrock. Just, just because, like. I want to go up here real quick. And I'll leave the bed out, just in case. Yeah, no, I'm just skirting the edge of the world now for when I go up here. I'm just curious, you know, just in case there's like a village or something I can just chill at, even though it's a big forest, so I doubt it. Oh, but there is a plane land just down there. Oh, I kind of want to actually keep going. 
Just because I see, like, just flat land over there. Just to make it a bit more convenient for myself. And again, we're not really too far out of the map, so... Yeah, go on. Because again, the whole point of this is me going to a corner of the world, or the map, that we're on, just to do different bits. Okay, now where's the donkey? <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah, where is the donkey for a start? Am I going down the same way? He would be on the map. Towards the birch. Up on a thing. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know where the donkey's gone. That's going to be our first objective now. Trying to find where the donkey is. Let me actually just... Maybe if I return to the top, I'll have a better view of where donkey is. Okay, no. Because I saw it there. I'm pretty sure... My brain is telling me this way. Like the donkey should be around this kind of area. Ow. Oh my god, Jesus, Joe. Be careful. Let me just uh, have a little bite. A dream on, dream on, dream on. I seriously don't see where thing is. I need to look for a tree that's slowly withering. That's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's like the opposite. They're all I think they're all burning because of a lava pit nearby. Where is he? Bro, I've literally just been away from the donkey for two seconds and I already can't find them. Yo, donkey, if you can hear me, just neigh, right? Or eaw, whichever it is. That's there. I'm also trying to think now, because yeah, no, this feels like the way I came up. Maybe I should just trust myself. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's extremely hard to look for a tree without its, uh, thing. The birch kind of blends in there, so it would be somewhere around here. Because, like, I'm thinking back, right? Because we entered through... We entered into the birch here. And then it slowly turned in the oak. So it's, I think it should be over here. So I remember going this way, I think. To be honest, like, they only have, like, the banner on them. But I also kind of don't want to lose them. They're the only friend I got out here. I should have left a torch beside him at the very least. I know there's a fence. But again, it's like, how likely am I actually going to be able to see these kind of things? Was that a pillager down there? I don't- I really hope that's not a pillager down there. Oh no, it's a chicken. I swear down, out of the corner of my eye, I caught, like, a pillager just peeking in on me. Okay, we're going that way. I don't think we saw the other side of this, so maybe it's back a bit this way. But I don't remember water. Well, actually, no, I do. Or do I? <laughs> it's just, or do you, Joe? Do you really remember water? What a pain. Like, usually I'm not that bad at remembering where things are, but for some reason my brain decided to be funny and actually just delete that memory so I don't know where they are. Donkey? Okay, alternatively, I could just burn the whole place down and just see what we find in the wreckage and hope that the donkey doesn't die, but... Not really looking to do something like that. Hmm. Oh, man, I just, like, the one hint I need right now is legitimately just, like, the leaves falling apart. 
Because once I see leaves falling apart randomly, even though it's very unlikely because there's so much trees here. Like, once I see it, it's just like, oh, that's where they are. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I don't even know where they are. Should I... I kind of just want to continue, to be honest. And maybe in the future we'll find them again. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, to be honest, we could always find them again, like, at a later stage. I could always just take down the coordinates from looking at the VOD back. I thought that was an animal up there, but it's literally just a shading. It made it look like something completely different, like another player like was in the world or something like that. That's another thing I should do in the future, because that, like the Discord's been telling me to do it for a while now. Where it's just like, set up a world where it's just like, it's basically like an SMP in a sense, where like, anyone can join and do whatever they want and all that sort of stuff, you know? To be honest, am I ever going to really need a fortune? Okay, this is a good, like, shovel, though. Such a pity I'm using it up. But then again, this is, like, that same argument I'll make for, like, um... When you buy, like, expensive shoes, it's like... You have shoe people being like, Bro, why are you wearing the shoes for? You're meant to just put them on display and sell them at a higher price. And it's just like, nah. It just casually folds the shoe. I feel like I would be like that, though. Somebody would just gift me shoes that are, like... I'm not going to say a ridiculous number, though. I was going to say, like, a thousand, but even at a thousand, I'd probably reconsider actually bending them. But, like, if I just really didn't give a shit and I got shoes that were, like, what? Like, maybe even just a hundred, like, euro or something like that. And they're like, bro, don't be, like, don't be just wearing them randomly and this, this. I'm like, okay. And then it just casually wears them to <laughs> just walk over a, um, whatchamacallit. Walk over a nice field, like a nice muddy field, you know, just to get them all dirty and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> There's a random moth just in my face. Well, not even a moth, just a... I don't even know what you call it. It's a little bug. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's just something nice about having, like, just the flat land. I just wish my donkey was here to see this. I feel like if I keep going, I actually will eventually find a village. I co-pared when I'm alone in Minecraft. It's like, oh, village? Yes, I will take refuge in civilization. Or some semblance of it. Nah, I don't think there's much else down here, to be honest, Joe. But I can't help it, though. I want to discover it. Like, I want to keep looking around. Ah, see, we found something. And sure, we're probably way off the map by now, but, you know. It's cool to live, like, amongst people. Oh, no, this is abandoned. I can see the cobwebs from here. Damn. Trust me to find, like, a village that's abandoned. I mean, hey, why not, honestly, though? I'm just a person taking refuge in an old village. Ah, uh, very nice village, yes. I'll take it. They <laughs> just... Man, we're not even too long living out here and we're already getting diamonds, like... Ah, you know, I feel bad for the horses. <laughs> yes, Joe, just get rid of one block. And then let me just get rid of that as well. There you go. Now you're free. I didn't pick up the gate, did I? There we go. <laughs> you know what I could do, actually? Just straight up, because there's no one living here, just start connecting all the houses together. Hold on, wait. Ah, oh, he died. Oh, that, that village is ready to fight. I see you. Or is that a shovel? Yeah, it's just a shovel. Okay, let's see if I can maneuver you. Come on. Bro, I'm right here. Bro, fella nearly took me out as well, like. No way did fella nearly take me out from that. I need to also re like set my spawn point real quick. I mean, it's still a functional village. Oh, I just realized as well, they don't have torches up as well. 
That's such a nice touch. Like, it's rare that I even come across villages that are, like, abandoned. So it's cool to actually take this time to just have a look at it. Like, just take a look at it in general and just see how it looks. I think it's cool, though. This might be my house. I need to be honest. Just because it's, like, the biggest one there, like... It's the biggest bird. It's the biggest bird. Oh, that's my eyes. That's after doing that. Hold on. There we go. Um, I should probably stop wearing them soon or fix them up. There wasn't a... Yeah, no, anvils aren't natural spawning, are they? It's just like the grindstones that are... You know, you think I would actually bring out an anvil with me. Or even some iron to craft a new one, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to live in that house. That one's kind of like further away from all the rest of this, you know? Got to live near the water leak. Oh, yeah, it's such a pity to just have the bell there. Wait, when did I fill up on stuff? I guess I'll just plant the tree. Yeah, I wonder what crops we have as well. Oh, more pillagers. Oh, uh, no, no. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. It won't. I don't trust it. I just, I do not trust it. Uh, steak just in case. Guess I'm gonna fight again. Where did they go? No, seriously though, where? There were pillagers here. Oh, there they are. Cause I mean, they're crossing by anyway. I gotta take them out. Yup, reset the bad omen, I think. To be honest, it does kind of make sense. Actually, no, it doesn't make sense. Why would they come back? Well, actually, no, they would come back. Because if, if they raided this place in, like, not too long ago, they'd want to check to make sure there's no survivors. But unlucky for them, there is a zombie survivor. Uh, get rid of that. I mean, we have potatoes we can plant now. I do like the aesthetic of the place as well, just where it's all like abandoned and stuff and it's starting to like, you know, the trees are usually always like in the way of stuff, but like it's cool how it nearly makes it look like the um, trees start to outgrow a bit too much and are just taking over the area. Okay, I might just take that with me. Nah. I'll leave it there for now. Hi, sheep. I thought I could sleep. To be honest, I need to get used to the shaders of, like, when it's really time to sleep. Oh, we even have one of those as well. Because if I could, like... Oh, hi. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that legitimately scared the shit out of me. Like, I'm just gonna... Cover that up real quick. So, like, if I could heal those, um, zombies... We could actually get a new village running. I kind of want to do that now. I feel like I have to. And is it me or does the atmosphere look a bit dreary now? <laughs> Just turns night, makes the area look dreary as shit. Two zombie. Well, actually one. Actually, yeah, no, both of them have gold armor. I wish they kept the armor like when they uh, change back. Now, is it likely that these zombies will actually last? Probably not. So, I need to make a weakness potion. Oh, hi, another zombie villager. What's up with your legs? Why are your legs going through the thing? Sorry, excuse me, come trip. Come trip. <laughs> That's three zombie now. 
I guess, like, because I'm in an abandoned village, there might be a higher chance of them spawning or something like that. Again, I'm not sure. I'm just, like, speculating anyway. I burned them all. Nah, I'm good. This is going to turn into a restoration project now. Welcome back to the American Restorators. Today, we'll be restoring this village to its primer glory. Previous glory. Why did I say primer? It's like a fucking painting, like... Actually, that's probably why, because I'm thinking of restoring stuff and primer is like... Oh god, yeah, I forgot you had the shovel. Um... Okay, first, we need to pick a house. And I've already... Like, after looking around and shopping a bit, I like this one. Right, so let's actually, you know, start by lighting up the area. And then I need to also, like, maybe replace a few blocks. We don't have a lot of this wood, but it, we're going to have to just make do. Right, and then I want doors. And then what we can do with these doors is actually use them for things. I don't really need the crossbow. We don't need them on all of them, but we just can put them on a few of them. Thing. Alright, now you're occupying that one. It's like anytime they're occupying a house, it's like, nah. Um, I should have brought nether warp, because honestly, that would help us with the uh, turning the villagers back into, uh, well, zombie villagers into actual villagers again. Because I don't think we can, oh no, it's blaze powder, that's it. But Joe, hear me out. You've got this lovely thing called a nether pole, right? And you can build it, you can light it up, and then you'll have a means of, to get the ting in the tang. Yes. I kind of want to use this as like the portal. I don't know why. There's something that like might be cool about it. It's like, hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe yeah, because like even then I can just like if I have well gold I can put that in there. I love the way I took away the bell. I was just like nah, I I'm not risking a raid. Now out here in the middle of nowhere with no villagers. Won't even stay here at this point. I'd just go somewhere else. Um. Oh, but if I build it there, it's not going to be even. Unless I build it here. Yeah, we'll build it here. It's going to be a bit weird looking, but like... It's an abandoned village. Like, who's going to give a shit? There we go. And then I want to take away this, this, and this. There we go. God, that, that, that does actually look a bit strange. I need more stone. Is there any, like, accessible stone? Yes. I just need two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, to be honest, I could have just taken those, but I also just want to, like, place more, so. Right, uh. Okay, how about I do this with the birch first? Just so I don't have to waste all the uh, spruce. Don't do that. I feel like a Minecraft speedrunner with the way I'm playing right now. Uh, then I want to make Stoira. Then at the very least, I want that there, there, and then here. And it's not perfect. There's going to be more, but that's a good start. And obviously, we're going to move this. I'd say put that inside the house. Why aren't you guys leaving? <laughs> Are they just actually stuck in the tree? Damn, how small is this tree? There you go. You guys will be free eventually. Just let me, uh... Uh... Yeah, I don't... I mean... Yeah... We're missing one lead because we still need the donkey to come back into existence. They'll, they'll find their way home. They'll break free and come find me, you know? Oh, yeah, wait. There's literally a chest in this house that we could just use for thing. Or I could just place that in there. Actually, no. It'd be easier if I just... Trust me. In the future, if I come back for the grindstone and I need it, I'm just going to go straight to there. Right. They're free now. can actually utilize this space. Actually, first tree plant. It'll never grow, but that's okay. Then do that. 
that. Boom, boom. Man, and the High Castle is such a good TV show, to be honest. Just got back into it. High Castle. Okay, wait. Okay. Let me not get roasted here, right? Man, in the High Castle is such a good TV show, to be honest. Just got back into it. See, I am reading it properly now, I swear. But, um, yeah, I never actually heard of it. I'm not gonna lie. I should probably. Well, I say I should probably watch it, but I still have so much, like. Not even. Well, not even anime. They actually know I still have a bit of a list of anime to watch, but I also have like TV shows that I still need to watch as well. Like if I ever get Netflix again, I gotta watch like Breaking Bad. And obviously Better Call Saul as well. And they are indoctrinated as fuck. So they're basically What's the indoctrinated mean again? It's like when they're a thing. Like they just go that sentence. Banzai is like hooray, isn't it? In Japanese, I think. If I remember. Right, there we go. Oral. Um, you know, I don't know what thing. It's like praise or something. Ah, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise Kami. Kami means God in Japanese. Like K-O-M-I. That's why, like, in Kami can't communicate. Um, everybody calls her, like, a godlike being because, uh, well, it literally means god in, like, Japanese. That's some, like, big name to get when you're, like, born. Like, yes, we will call our child God. <laughs> Welcome, God, to the world. Okay, right, sorry. I've done that now. Now I need to get, like, with renovating this house a little bit. Oh, to be honest, I actually do kind of wish there was more wood around. <laughs> like, that's not just, like, oak and thing, but honestly, oak will do. Then, yeah, they're just in there. Um, Okay, so I need a chest. That's another thing I want. Just so I can actually leave some of the shit I have in here into it. Now, jump. Don't be lazy, come on. <laughs> just take up the floor. Um, actually, to be honest, we could just do this. And just replace it with its actual thing. I was kind of thinking of, like, replacing some parts of the house with, like, um... This is spruce. Yeah, spruce wood. But we don't know now. I don't know. I wish I got some, like, iron boots. Because I need to leave these on standby for a bit. And then hope I don't break the frost walkers too much. Bell. Uh, eggs we could just... Come. Do I want to throw... Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Uh, diamonds. I can leave that in there. I can leave this in here. I should have left that actually near the portal. I should have left that near the portal. Need port. Already organizing it before we even get into it. If I could get a, well, stone that's not from this well, preferably stone from the ground. You know, I should just start digging. I just start digging into the ground, make a mine and go from there. It won't be any harm to actually have the mine, like, outside the house, like. My last famous words before I die. Wait, actually, just, just to check, actually, now that I say die, did I actually set my spawn point? Now I set my spawn point. Right, lovely. Oh, but yeah, you know what would be a cool idea for, like, these Minecraft streams? Just to have, like, guests on every so often. Just, like, invite, like, Lazy Panda and Brando and all that on. Just for, like, one game we talk about shit, they, like, build something and go from there. Because that reminds me of the, um... It's what, like, um, Sky Does Minecraft did for a little, like, Minecraft kind of podcast series kind of thing. It was a kind of cool concept, honestly, but it was never really fully realized. Well, actually, no, it was fully realized, because, like, they were essentially building a little, like, town by the time they ended it, like, or have built. Kind of cool. Uh, I don't really need the extra bed, unless, like, the zombie villager's gonna not be a zombie villager. 
Uh, we already have some glass, even if it's like dirty, but hey, you know what? We'll take that. Yeah, see this glass here. It's a bit dirty, but like, sure, but jazz, and like, you know, you take what you got. Like, at least this house doesn't look like a proper restoration project, like some of the ones in Ireland. Like, I was looking at um, the Irish website for like getting houses and stuff called daft.ie, and it's like, there's these literal buildings that have collapsed in on themselves, and they're still selling them for like hundreds of thousands. It's like, oh, but it's just, you know, this is like a little restoration project, you know? It's like, fuck off, you're just too lazy to actually restore the house. And you want somebody to, like, take it up in their own, like, fruition. To be honest, though, half those houses are, like, out in the middle of nowhere, and I'm already living in the middle of nowhere. So for me to say it's in the middle of nowhere, like, that is it's even more so. But, um, yeah. Man, I have a lot of these pickaxes. Um, I will put the blocks... Okay, wait, hang on, hang... Hang on there, an uno momento. Yes, okay. And then we put a block here. Uh, oh yeah, coal... Wait. <laughs> I'm already forgetting what I'm doing. I'm just going on tangent, uh, tangents and it's just distracting. Um... Uh, sure, why not actually have a furnace in between the beds and then no, that's it. I, I actually thought I wanted to do something with it now, but I don't think I do. Uh, I, you know, we'll, we'll be a bit bold and spruce it up with a little bit of uh, what do we call it? Birch planks. Eh, I'll leave it. I'm too lazy to pick it up now. Or like sections like this, it's just like now nah, we go back to oak. Just thought it'd be like an interesting little change up to just not just use the one wood for the entire house. Imagine if one of those pressure plates actually led to like explosives or something. The pillagers that actually left behind traps in the village. I shouldn't have got rid of that one yet. Uh, I don't know if that was thing or not. That's stairs. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, honestly, putting like these houses back together. Uh, wait, can I even see it? I can, just a little bit. I'm just gonna hope that that's right. And like, for now anyway, I just want to like, do up my own house. So I at least feel like I'm living somewhere decent. And then we go from there. Whether I build a new house or not is just entirely on myself. Uh, well, we can change the corner, right? We don't need mossy cobblestone everywhere. It does look a bit weird, though. I'm not going to lie. Right, yeah. As I said, though, we'll leave the windows alone until I can actually properly replace them. And then put that in there. Uh, yeah, that should be that. Then I need more oak as well. Oh, I literally just missed it. Oh, I made it worse. Oh, I made it worse. My laziness does not know any bounds, honestly. There we go. Right, lovely. Now I can actually do it. To be honest, actually, birch doesn't look that bad in the light. Like, with all the, like, shader stuff on. We can actually use some of the cobble. But then again, it, it, I think it's meant to be that. Ah, uh, sure, look. Beggars can't be choosers now, can they? Okay. So now, essentially, I just need glass for the windows. How close is sand? I think sand is here. Yeah, I think I literally see it just right there. And then I'll swap the battle for that. Actually, no, I'll swap it for the apples. There we go. Three, four, five, six. I don't think I'll need more than that right now. And obviously, if I do, I'll go back for it, but it's not really necessary. It's just like, oh, yeah, wow, okay. I just realized how much more cobwebs there are on the house itself. Okay, maybe I should actually build up onto the house and then fix it from there. 
And obviously get more wood. Come on. There we go. I don't know how I reached that, but hey, you know what? We can't complain. I know, I hear you growling in there. Don't worry. Would you like an apple in the meantime? <laughs> Just fucking eats it right in front of his face. See, even this looks nice. I don't know what that voice crack was. <laughs> even that's nice. I see, that's why I built the furnace. I was thinking like two steps ahead of myself. Right, and now whilst that basically is pending, I'm gonna make a mistake leaving that there, so I'm actually gonna leave it in my hand. Watch me like drop off the roof and it actually uses it for some reason. Oh, I thought I heard a creeper. Anyway. <laughs> oh my, really? There. This <laughs> is just there. We'll just do it like this. Uh, yeah, actually, we'll just make another crafting table. Now we'll leave it in the most cursed place possible. There we go. One. Two. No, I'm, I'm definitely going to need more. I, I already know it. One, two. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot more. One, two. I think there's like a spot behind me as well. No. Oh, wait, I could have... Nah. Joe, shush. Don't give your brain more things to do. Just be happy that you've restored, nearly restored a home. And no, we're not going to have like those um, like glass blocks out, right? We're actually going to turn them into thing, into panes. I feel like panes are just better than uh, thin glass, than normal glass. Right, and again, they're a bit dirty, but sure look it like. We're saving glass for the other houses in the future. Is that... Why is there pillagers? Is this like place like really going to be infested with like pillagers because they like... <sighs> I really hope this is just my luck or something and not an actual thing. Because that would be annoying if they kept like raiding this place. <laughs> then I'd have to actually start getting iron and make a golem like at the very least just to have something that can ward them off. Uh, actually I'll keep that on me. Put that away. Shield. Actually, I think it would be better if I did that. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Oh shit. Ow! I had my shield up and you still shot me, like... Oh, he's got piercing. Bro, he's got piercing rounds. <laughs> Fella actually had piercing rounds. <laughs> I think piercing is an actual thing in the game as well. Um, actually, did it? No, they didn't drop any of them. Oh, you know what I could do? Since I'm not going to be using these for anything else, I could just put them like on the buildings where there's actual zombies uh, hanging out. Oh, but Joe, you left Ting... But donkey behind. <laughs> it's just after like doing all that, man. I need leather for an item frame because I kind of want to put my map up on the wall as well. Eh, or do I? Effort. That's it. It's kind of cozy in here. It's giving me vibes of like old times when used to play like Minecraft on Xbox 360 and stuff like this particular kind of building. I don't know why this one and not the other ones, but well actually to be honest some of the other ones weren't even around during the Xbox 360 era, but yeah. I still remember the days when like the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft wasn't even up to date with uh thing. Yeah, you know, actually let me let me put the netherite chest plate away as well. Let's just use the stuff they left behind for us. 
And then we have a load of pickaxes. Once it turns morning, that's when I'm going to actually like bother to start mining. We'll have a look underground. If it's Skulk, we're leaving. <laughs> it's just like, well, actually, we won't leave immediately. Well, I think at that point, we'll just go into Nether, see what's there. Uh, maybe even bring like a load of cobblestone and go from there. Actually, it wouldn't even hurt to actually just get a bit of cobblestone now. Two, three. Imagine if I actually found something. I just accidentally dig underneath one of the houses, let one of the villagers out. Okay, yeah. Just dirt. Literal dirt, bro. Didn't like that pickaxe anyway. Damn, they really don't want me to mine around, do they? To be honest, I'm also kind of buying time, because I know, like... It takes a while for my brain to register when it actually is night. And it will take a bit for a while, just because, like, um, using shaders now. I need to adjust my brain to when it's actually night and when it's not. Right. Oh! And let me just use that. Because if I'm mining forward and I fall into a cave, at least I have something that saves me. I didn't even bring my good pickaxe, but it is how it is. I do have three diamonds, though, so theoretically, if I just made that into a diamond pick, I can go into the nether and start looking for ancient debris. Yeah, that's, like, basically one of the three objectives. For me, it, well, actually, four objectives. Actually, no, it would count as thing. One of them is, like, restore the village, so that would include, like, the buildings and the villagers, if I can. Uh, second objective is to mine around the place in the overworld, and then I guess the third would be mine around in the uh, nether for, um, whatchamacallit, ancient debris. Because if I got two, I can, <laughs> if I got two grand, we're going home. We're going back home, and we're going to find now where I lived and stuff. Okay, this is a weird... It's cool, but I want to keep going. I feel like at any point I'm just gonna get like uh, just something just appears. I'll easily get more scared of Minecraft than I would get scared of Resident Evil, like honestly. Oh my god. Speaking about getting scared. Once we hit deep slate, that's when I'm really going to be like, okay, now we should probably like stop and then look at coordinates and see how much farther we got to go. Well, to be honest, actually, if I hit deep slate, that just means we're at the like zero coordinate. Man, I really am old when it comes to like Minecraft stuff, though, because it's just like, back in my day, Minecraft only went down to coordinate one. You couldn't even go on zero. But I do think it's cool, though, like, for the cave systems in particular, that they made it so, like, you can go underneath if you want. Because it's just, like, it gives old worlds, like, at the time, the ability to actually go deeper than they did before. And you gotta kind of respect that, in a sense, like. That's, like, I think minus 50 extra blocks per world, which is so cool. Huh, creeper. Aw, oh, man. So we back in the mine, got a pickaxe swinging from side to side, side side to side. Just ask this task a grueling one, hope to find some diamonds tonight, tonight, diamonds tonight, heads up. You hear a sound, turn around and look up, total shock fills your body, oh no it's you again, I don't ever forget those uh, uh, eyes. It's such a nice cave, by the way. It's just, I know I'm just cheerfully singing, like, the Minecraft song, but I'm just gonna... Okay, never mind. Now... Just like the American president would say, we need to build a wall. Just so I can actually have a bit of peace up here. Oh! 
I'm not going to lie, I'm finding a good bunch of iron. And with that, we can actually make an anvil, or we can make a, um, which we call it, we can make golems. How long is this uh, effect lasting for? An hour and 33, lovely. And it's probably going to keep refreshing. If I'm living in a place where pillagers are just passing by casually, like, that's going to be annoying. It's like, you think after, well, actually, to be honest, it would make more sense that they are sending more people out to try and, like, you know, get rid of the problem in the village they raided ages ago, like. To like, huh, so this person, it's one guy you're struggling to kill. Oh my god, I didn't even think to bring down more coal. Man, if only if I found coal underground. Eh, game, that was your cue to just spawn coal in front of me. Slash, just slash spawn coal. Alright, there we go. We're on deep slate now, so. Where are we? Oh no, we're on corn eight. We're not exactly there yet, no. And I still don't know how like deep I'm actually meant to go, but I'm pretty sure it's not 11 anymore. Like, why 11? I'm pretty sure you're meant to go, like, in a different core and that. But to be honest, do I want to constantly mine in deep slate, or would I rather just mine in normal, like, stone? Because, <laughs> I mean, like, think about it. Think about it a little bit here, Joe. Actually, do I? Yeah, no, that was my last pickaxe. Well, this is my last pickaxe. This is my last pickaxe. Suffocation, no breathing. Right. Again, all I can hope for at this point is to find coal so I can actually, like, you know, see where I'm going. But I still do, like, for the most part. It's just nice having toward. Oh, it is! Fuck me, I thought that was a lot deeper than it was. <laughs> That's why I got scared. I was like, oh no, please. Don't actually make me use my totem up. God, I hate Minecraft ambient sounds. Okay, hold on. Let me just leave, like, that there as well. Just so, like, when I come back, I know exactly where I need to go. Is that iron? Oh, I think that's iron. The well, fella's dripped out. He might actually kill me though, so I, I think it's it's a good chance to just, you know, retreat back a little bit. And just wait. Oh, and there's an Enderman here as well. I just want to see what that is. I think it's, yeah, that should be iron. I recognize it as an iron pattern. Do I have, oh, I have arrows, so I can actually shoot this guy. Nah, to be honest, if he's not fighting me, there's no point. Yeah, he's gonna fight me soon, though. Yeah, no, he's fighting me. Okay, I use all my arrows already. There's a zombie there as well, lovely. Okay, to be honest, I am going to die here if I don't be careful. I am I'm just tactically retreating, don't mind me. Just apples don't heal as good as steak. Your man behind him really didn't think maybe I should like actually like, you know, do a thing instead. See, this is why I just don't feel confident, bro. There's a load of copper in the wall, and there's spikes down there. So that's a big recipe for a disaster to brew. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go back up this way, and hopefully get the iron that's actually here. You know, it's not even worth it. It's just, it's just not worth it. No, no, no. 
I'll just I'll just keep like mining and be on my merry way, you know. But, you know, I'm actually kind of buzzing for next week. I'm not gonna lie, just because again, it's just another like bank holiday Monday, I believe. So I'm gonna have like another day off work. It's nice when you don't work and you get paid for it, like. And it's not like before where I was on job seekers and it's just like I'm getting paid for literally doing fuck all. But like at least there it's like, oh yeah, this is kind of like your little holiday, you know. I think, anyway, I need to actually make sure of that, uh, that we are getting that Monday off. We might indeed even be getting that day off. Who knows, like, maybe I'm just, like, thinking about it as a thing. But I'm pretty sure I looked through, um, I think it was, like, citizensinformation.ie, and it was saying stuff about, like, having work days off and stuff on bank holidays. So hopefully I'm not wrong. That means we have an extra day to string. Oh, my God. The moment I get coal as well, when my pickaxe is basically dead, like... I'm just gonna get it. Actually, no, I'm gonna... Dare do that, because we don't have a lot. Oh, it's just... I don't know what about it is nice. Oh, that was a creeper falling. Yo, creeper, if you see me, uh, blow up. I think I'll, um, actually I have, okay, I have things that I can use. Just give me an uno momento. If I just do that. Uh... I'm dead scared something's going to sneak up on me, like swear down. And if I do this, I can make another pickaxe and continue my mining addiction. <laughs> my addiction of mining continuously in one direction. And not to be confused with listening to One Direction. Okay, let's admit though, like there, there's a lot of like boy band songs that like people like uh, Ian. Why would you listen to that? Like, they're, obviously they're cringe. We are gonna hate them. It's like you gotta admit though, you just did it because everybody else did it. I it for me honestly, it took me until like um, what was you call it? It's like when I heard um or thought about it, it's like Justin Bieber's baby in a weird way isn't actually that bad it's just at the time you're just going with what everybody else says because it's the cool thing like remember back when the fucking internet used to just hate his ass and there's always those posts where it's like one like uh for this about justin bieber and uh ignore if you like justin bieber and all that sort of shit it's like bro you gotta think it's a bit like cringe when you think about that like But I bet, like, posts like those obviously still do exist. It's just a matter of looking where they are. Or even just coming across them, like... Uh, you know, actually, I'll just leave that and let it do its thing. So far, copper, coal, and iron. Not even a hint of gold, but you know what? I'm happy enough. At least I'm finding a lot of coal to use. For my furnace and shiz. And making more torches. I should really start using more, um, what do you call it, soul sand for torches. Because I think if you just, like, have a stick and soul sand, that just makes uh, soul fire torches. Which are cooler, but I don't think they're brighter, though. I think they're a bit dimmer than normal torches. But, like, theoretically, it's a bit, like, better to use, or it's better used to use soul sand to make stuff like that. So you're not using coal up all the time. Uh, to be honest, I don't really even need diamonds down here. All I really am just doing right now is just looking around. And I'm happy enough to say at least there's no skulk so far. Unless I just needed to keep mining downwards for it. Like, but honestly, let's just keep it like this. Let's keep it like skulkless if we can. Oh, man, we are finding a lot of iron though. I must keep reiterating that I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy to find iron. Because at least then we can actually... Maybe even just set up like one... Actually no, I'd make the anvil first, then the iron golem. Because if I'm smart about it, I can survive enough like pillager attacks. 
I think it'd be funny actually if I just went, on purpose went out to get dark wood and started changing the village to dark wood. Huh. This must be a uh, pillager. Actually, is there? Oh yeah, there isn't, is there? There's no like village in dark oak biomes because like pillagers live out there. Never thought of it like that. They don't even live in a luscious forest like that, but they'll gladly like live in the middle of a fucking desert, look. Like. But I guess like for them, like for the villagers, it's just like if they live out in the middle of a desert, it's less likely they're gonna be raided, like. If you think about it logistically now. This is going to be a pain to get through. I'm basically just going to keep going until this pickaxe gives out. Okay, we're good. Actually, I should just leave one on the wall. And if I'm starting to get sniffly, I need to actually fix that. Before, before tomorrow, I need to actually start taking um, like a bit of medicine for it. I'd hate to go to work tomorrow not feeling 100%. But then again, do I ever go to work feeling 100%? Not really. It's mainly because, like, I get to work and it's just, like, I don't, I can't even actually start, like, get in the building until somebody with a key comes along. I've been meaning to ask my boss, like, maybe if it would be possible if I could get, like, the key to the building. <laughs> it's just, you know, boss, I've been working here for, like, almost two months. Can I get, like, the key to the building? I won't do anything nefarious, but, you know, it's just, just to have it. Because, like, my bus to get into work just brings me to where I need pretty early. Like, I can get to my workplace by, like, 8.15 and I don't really start to, like... Well, actually, no, I can get there by 8.05 if I really wanted to. And it's just, like, the place, like, nobody go, really goes in yet until, um, whatchamacallit. They don't really, like, nobody really appears until, like, half like eight so I have to just buy my time by going to basically just having a bit of a walk around in the morning and stuff to be honest it is kind of nice though because it does give my like self a kind of little like f like you know a bit of an awakening up it's like oh yeah just go for a little walk have a nice little stroll just before you start work today yeah you know but at the same time there's only so many places I can go to before I've visited like a lot of places and then there's just certain places I just don't want to visit because it's just like prices you know yeah, no, I need to really start looking up more places to go in the morning. And, like, there's also the case of, like, oh, I could go this far out from the workplace before getting in in the morning. But then it's just, like, what if something happens and I'm just, like, late, you know? Like, I'm not worried about being late at, like, half um, eight. I'm more worried about being late at, like, um, like for the nine o'clock mark. Because that's when the place actually starts and properly opens up, or, like, where I work, so... Oh, redstone as well. Bro, we're literally finding everything but, like, the fucking, like, diamonds here. Why is that... Did I get rid of the block above? I must have. I'm starting to think there's, like, silverfish blocks around. My worst enemy. But yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to be doing this too long. And honestly, mining all this, though, is preparing me to go into the nether. Oh, my God. More redstone. Uh, I think. Let's think. There's a zombie. Bro, what is that? That looks so cool. I mean, you can try to get up here, but I don't think you can, mate. Not gonna lie. There's iron, but let, let's be real. It's not even worth it at that point. I, I've got enough iron. I, I think I'll be good. Oh, that's a mine shaft over there as well, I think. Unless that's a house? No, that's a mine shaft for sure. I thought it was like a witch hut, just like accidentally just spawned on the ground. Oh my god, just. I wonder if it took extra damage from the uh, thing. Oh. Oh, it triggered a um, redstone block over there. That's why I did that. You drop down now, Joe, you might accidentally fall on a spike and die. 
I don't think there's much out here. So I'm also looking around to see if there's like any diamonds, but I don't know. Again, could be just mining at the wrong coordinates, knowing me. Oh. Fella literally fell on a spike somehow and died. That'll be me soon. You know, to be honest, there are spikes above me here as well. I'm kind of concerned. Right, let's continue. I also need to build like barriers on either side as well. Just so I don't like actually fall off and land on the spike and die. Because I don't think it matters how high you are. If you fall onto a spike, you're going to like more than likely take more damage than usual. I do kind of want to explore that at some point. I'm going to build like this here. Just to tr like kind of remind myself if I come back down here to actually explore the like mine shaft. Cause it'd be such a pity if I didn't. Right there we go. Now we return to our regularly scheduled programming. Joel, you're on the line. I still need to edit, like, I just realized now. I, I still need to edit fucking the uh, Sherry Albert story update video. I think I'll do it, like, on Wednesday or something like that. There you go, just lighten up the area a little bit more. Okay. Oh, wait, I can't. Joe, you don't have a pickaxe right now. And imagine the effort of actually building a pickaxe. Or constructing one. Nay, you cannot just do such a thing. Yeah, to be honest though, there is like a pickaxe up here actually, so I could just use that. But I do also want to make a, um, whatchamacallit, I want to make a diamond one as well. Oh yeah, villager grown. It's just my neighbor, like, don't mind them. Oh, uh, Joe, yeah, the, n that's not going to fit. <laughs> that That's not going to fit in your inventory. Let's be a bit realistic here, like. Okay, and then the obsidian. Uh, block, 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 block. Block. <laughs> Just block. Isn't it beautiful? Uh. Okay, we got the redstone. Actually, I'll leave that at the very bottom. Just so I know where it all is. And I'll leave the raw copper in until I want more XP or something like that. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, and this one's so. all. Cool. We have that. We can take this out. I guess we can make the diamond pickaxe. If we're going to go into the nether, we're going to have to get like a diamond pick to use anyway. So, do that. It'd be a shame if we actually came across it. It's brilliant. We couldn't actually pick it up like. Okay. And then it wouldn't hurt to just organize a little bit. Like this. Okay. And then, what's the second most? I guess other stones. Maybe if we just start there. Um, actually, leave that on the same. Okay. Right, stone. Uh, we can leave dirt and gravel here. This kind of area of stone. There we go. Okay. There's a bit more organization to it. Not a lot, but like something, you know? Oh, actually, I did say I want to bring like some blocks with me, so. But I don't have enough gold for armor, so. What do you do? And yes, because I'm going to the nether now, I'm going to make sure I actually like, you know, wear more than just the bare minimum. Uh, t -t -t -t. could make an armor stand as well. 
Because I love doing that. I love making like armor stands and just leaving armor that I use in the area on it. Yeah. Okay, let me just run one of you through this. And then we just take that same stone, run it through again, and go from there. Honestly, is it... Yeah, I think it's because of the shader and, like, the Optifine is probably in the back as well or something that's making the game run a lot better. It just feels nicer to play the game. And it's probably also because I'm not in the main village anyway. Because <laughs> it's just, like, all those animals, like, making the, like, game lag a little. Oh, I need three of those, I just realised. Because I need to make the slab. Because I can't just do that. I need three of them to make slabs. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I will. I will keep that there, and the shield will stay there. I just gotta you like gotta get used to just not fighting really much with a shield anymore. The shield's kind of just an inventory slot, like that's just useless now. As long as I have my uh, totem, but then when the totem's used, like okay, no, whack on that shield real fast. Looks like you're gonna need it, mate. Aye. You know, those windows do look a bit weird, though. It's like, I feel like when I look through them, there's nothing there, but it's actually, like, just brown stained glass, I think it is. Unless it's particularly called, like, stained windows or something like that. Come on. There we go. Uh, I think it's, like... No, it's not like that. Well, this is like this, actually. But then, like... <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Stand. Ah, it's like that, yeah. It's a bit of a weird shape, like. Um. Do I want it on top of the furnace? There's something about that that just doesn't feel right. Oh, really? Um, hmm. Yeah, there we go. We'll just take those out. There we go. Just to have my uh, other armor on standby. Uh, take the flint and steel in case you require it. I don't think you'll need a lead unless you come across a, like... Actually, maybe if I do come across a straddler. Is it a straddler or is it... Sa no, it's not a saddler. That's from fucking Resident Evil 4. Um, and then maybe if I come across a piglin, I can give him gold. That's all I can really think about bringing. I see, look, animals are just casually passing through the village. I like that. Oh, yeah, see, there's another raid here already. I have an idea. No, actually, that's a bad idea. I was going to lead them to the fucking portal and push them through, like, but it's like, Joe, I don't think, like, it's going to make it much of a difference. Oh, so we got, like, some beetroot and wheat. I'm probably mainly going to use the wheat, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking of cool ideas. Like, I could, like, make a section of this house where, like, goes up into a little tower and just... You can use that to, like, look around. Yeah. I, I'm going to assume because this is an abandoned village, that's why pillagers keep passing so often. It's because it's just... They are in this area, and this that's just what they do. I wonder if you actually would find a pillager tower nearby. That'd be interesting. Right. Um, I want to mine. Not yet, though. Uh, I don't know where to leave half this shit. Let me just bring some of it over anyway. And maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe get like a tad bit more steak. There's the zombie villager. Hello. It's in that abandoned house over there, away from the village. That's why I even like put the portal there as well. It's just easier spot to remember where it is. Even though I could just leave out in the open. That would reasonably be a lot easier, but shush. I wonder if the water is like textured weird or if it's actually on purposely looking a bit like darker than usual just because it's abandoned like village. I'd have to, like, make a bucket and actually place it, just to say. Right, let me just... Oh, there's just one single, like, thing. 
and then I was gonna make a thing, but nah. It's gonna make a uh, what do we call it? A wow, I can't even think of the name of it. It's gonna make a item frame, but nah. Just, just, just shush. Oh, and it actually would be nice as well if I had doors already made. Even if I just make some more spruce ones. Right. Off we go. Here's hoping I don't spawn in a bad place. This is a terrible place. It's kind of cool because it's between a wasteland and a, uh, uh, what do we call it, a warped, but this isn't really what I'd call a good place to spawn in. Okay. No delay, let's set up our uh, little base. Uh, two blocks, yes. Okay. And our doors. I'm gonna probably make a mistake doing that. Can I? There we go. Place that there, place that there. At the very least, it would be nice to have thing over. Oh, yep, there's piglins around here. I need to build quick. I see like a baby piglin, and that's a bad sign. I think I've built enough, but like... Yeah, see, they're already gathering around the house. They do not know what I am, but they don't like me. Oh, what? Did I hear you use a door? Did you just use the... No, don't tell me you actually used the door. If you used a door, that's going to be a major problem. Wait, hold on. I need to Like, I need to test that again. Oh my god! Panic, Joe. Panic. Panic. You could tell I was shitting myself with that. It's like, fuck, I didn't actually think they'd be getting in that easy. But no, he actually went around, so I don't think he used... But I did hear the door open, I swear down. Oh, it's going to be such an issue. I'm going to have to go back into, like, the, um... Well, actually, to be honest... <laughs> to be honest... I could just do that. Then my problems are solved. Except for the gas. I don't know where the gas is. That's actually a major ob yet. It's already firing on me, and I don't even know what direction it's in. Okay, I think I'm good, though, for the most part. As long as I'm just boxed up. And I know there's one up there, but shush. We'll leave, like, the, uh... What you call it? Cobble in front of the doors, just so I can guarantee my safety. Yeah, no, I can hear a lot of them around now. That's actually going to be a major problem if they start like if they somehow can break down the door and the little ones can pop in. Like, even they could be annoying enough to do thing to me. Yeah, see, yeah, see, they're opening the door. That's no bueno. That's putting me on edge, honestly. I feel like I, I actually am going to die from the pigmen. They're going to outsmart me or something at some point and it's just going to like fall back on me. Oh, if only if I could just show them I'm peaceful, man. I say that as I've killed, like, one of their own already, but shush. We don't talk about that. That was just self-defense. No, I'm just gonna do that for my own safety. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, hold on. One minute. I'm not gonna lie, I was watching through like one of the um 
Resident Evil VODs and I heard myself sneezing in it and now I'm just... Now I feel bad for like actually just outright sneezing into the microphone. So I'll try and mute it more often. It's just sometimes when you're in it, you know, you just kind of have to do your blowy nose thing and go from there. I feel like they're going to spawn in here. Just every so often, just light a fire. Because, like, we have, I think, two flint and steels anyway, so... It's all good. I don't mind using them all. However, I do mind if we use this pickaxe up, because, uh... I kind of don't want to go straight to using the diamond pickaxe, you know? Honestly, I, every time I talk, I see my character model, like, pop up like this or something out of the corner of my eye. Or, like, at least I'm imagining it. Because, like, I know I'm not using the PNG, like, model right now. I'm using the 3D one, but, like, I'm so used to using the PNG one recently that it's just... It's weird. You know? And honestly, even having, like... As I was talking about earlier, about like, um, whatchamacallit, I was talking about like models and stuff. I wouldn't even mind having like 2D models, well, PNG models, because 2D models are different. Because what I'm using now would be, I guess, in the kind of same realm of like 3D and 2D, like models. But then there's like PNG tubers where like they don't, they can't do any of the turning or anything like that. Right, anyway, let me just light some fires. Honestly, the fires are nice. And I think that it's like moving slightly as well. If I could find some gold underground, that would also be pog, honestly. Ah, yeah, it is fire protection. But to be honest, fire protection is like better than nothing. If I lose the boots, I'm going to have to make them again. I'd rather not lose them. Excuse me? Blazes? Why? Why? That means... Are, are you serious? I go to another corner of the map and I find another, like, fortress. Because, like, blazes don't just spawn out in the open. They spawn in, like, a thing. That is so weird. What are my chances of finding these, like places that just have to have um like fortresses in them like i've been to three different por nether portals and all three of them had tang like oh <laughs> okay yeah that kind of works i was gonna say i have to put out the fire so i don't do thing but yeah right there we go we got two now i just need two more and actually i'll bring that with me because i feel like we might run out eventually if i'm too stingy with or not too stingy with wood but if i'm too uh, used to just using wood to make more crafting tables. Might have to explore that later. And when I say later, I mean like in another stream. So I don't know if I can really muster up the like patience to go through a nether fortress. But that is kind of cool though. That there's just another like nether fortress just at a portal that I made. Like my luck is impeccable. I, again, I'm just, I keep like muting myself when I sneeze now. I'm at that point. I shouldn't even bother really pausing the game. I should just keep going. And now my ears pop again. Okay, how about we just... Oh, I got rid of it too early. That's a first in a while. Man, the last time I was so lucky when I was mining down here, because, like, back when I was going uh, against the Woodland Mansion, I straight up just, like, kept digging down, and I just found ancient debris, like. I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of handy. Just right at my feet. Cool. And I think it was two, and that was, like, the only two I found when I was near the Woodland Mansion. I could have probably stayed near the Woodland Mansion just to 
keep going into nether, find ancient debris, but then it's just like, I feel like if I keep mining near that area, I'm gonna like just come across Skulk in the overworld, and it's just, it's not gonna be a good time, not gonna lie. There we go. It's hard to concentrate with all this text on screen. Uh, and then we'll just go, yeah, we'll go 11. Just to go a bit above the, um, whatchamacallit. Go a tad bit above the uh, bedrock layer. I feel like I need to make one of these. Just I feel like pigmen are just going to spawn behind me and just like come out of nowhere. Like, Cause It did happen once, but I did have like gold on, so it was all good. You know? Uh, Roy. I just also think to myself right now, like, what I need to do. I think right now it's just, like, keep streaming for a bit until, I guess, this pickaxe just gets low. Then decide if I'm going to do something else in the world or if I'm going to just leave it there for today. Maybe edit, like, the Sherry Arbor story, like, 15th update. Try and get that out before uh, tonight. And then I got a whole Resident Evil 4 movie VOD that I got to upload. And it's going to be a long upload. It's 11 hours, so, like... Yeah, yeah, let's go. The la like, the main reason I even split, like, the... Or I did split both Resident Evil 4 VODs... Well, movie VODs into, like, two, p like, parts is because, like... Twitch just... Or not Twitch, um... YouTube just doesn't allow uploads that are longer than 12 hours anymore. Like, I think it's, like, if you do a VOD that's over 12 hours, that's fine. Because, like, you know, you're live and they don't really want to break it up for you. But it's just when you're uploading to YouTube, they don't really want you to upload 12 hour, like, VODs anymore. There must be a reason for the limitation. I just don't know what it is. Unless they do break people off after the 12th hour of the stream. Like, imagine doing a subathon and you had to keep, like, updating your stream every 12 hours, like. They'd be like, nope, it's still the same subathon stream, just YouTube are breaking this into different, uh, multiple pieces. Thank God my brain's awake, but I don't actually have a thing on me. Ah, oh man, even the lava looks nice. Nice and bright. I don't even mind if it takes up there. Stop shining, thank you. Oh, we can actually keep going. Ah, uh, never mind. I had to speak too soon. Yeah, okay, now it's time to... Which way are we turning? I'm feeling left. Even though left was literally where lava just was, but sure look at like, we'll, we'll just go with it. I think we're in a crimson biome now, because I can kind of see some of the particle effects from a crimson biome just passing by on the screen. Bro, I am so asleep if I just let that gravel fall on me like it was nothing. I fear when, like, lava's right above me and I just don't do anything about it, like. I definitely need to do this. Because I, I, I kind of want some XP. And I need to also keep looking up as well to make sure I'm not, like, suddenly pouring lava onto myself. That would be tragic. Cool, right. Leave a fire and keep going. Oh, gold. Let's go. Hopefully I'll be able to not live in fear soon. Uh, do, 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 do. We have you. Put you back in there. And then we literally just need to make two more. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ju just, just leave it there, Joe. It's all good. Gives me an excuse to bench, like, the boots anyway for a little second. And now I can just keep mining. I don't have to worry about placing fires down anymore because I have gold armor on me. You know, honestly, if this was three high, and if I was underneath a fortress, I wonder if wither skeletons would just start spawning down here. A nice, easy little farm, you know. Man, I'm actually kind of surprised with that, though, that I still haven't got, like, any wither skeletons yet. Or wither skeleton skulls. If 
for season two of this Minecraft VOD series. We probably should, like, actually, um, look into more of the, uh, doing the end and all that. I think, really, it's just, like, the end and the wither skeleton are, like, the two left. Like, two main things to do. And then after that, that's when the series will really just taper off, because then it's just, like, okay, I guess next now it's just, like, you know, finding full, like, or getting full netherite gear and maybe getting the elytra as well. Stuff like that, you know? I wonder if a respawn anchor works in the end. I need to test that if I ever go to the end. I guess actually at that point... Oh wait, no, I could just throw that instead. Actually, to be honest, do you really want that over that? At that point, actually, it'd be a good point, like, whenever I'd actually defeat the Ender Dragon and the Wither in this world, to actually go back to a hardcore world again. It just depends, though. I don't think I'd do it right afterwards, because, like, you know, finishing... Oh my god! Why did I run into it? I literally was safe enough, and I ran into it like a fucking idiot, like... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I thought for some reason I could get in and under the lava before it fucking dripped down, like... The intelligence of this person. It's <laughs> just, my intelligence really knows no bounds. Like, there are times when I can be super intelligent, but then other times I'm just as stupid as that, like. And it really does show. Okay, how long? Let me... Let me just, uh... Top up my health of that. Swap back to that. Because steak is mainly really good for, like, regening hearts, so, like... I'll wait until I burn again in lava, and then I'll go from there. Okay, don't, the lava stops, stops, stop. There we go. Can I plug the ceiling? I can. Now, however, will that last? Looks like it's gonna last. Grand. All good. And our pickaxe looks like it's gonna last a good while anyway. Yeah, I don't really predict we're going to find Ancient Debris right now, but it is a nice start, though, to actually get a mine, like, started. At least for this little part of the series, we can actually focus on getting more Ancient Debris and all that. I guess maybe, like, if there's a point where I really do feel extremely bored of Minecraft, we could probably hunt down the Stronghold at that point. Like, maybe once I'm done with this base here and this village and restoring it... Then I can actually, like, uh, start, like, trying to hunt for the stronghold, but, like, build houses along the way. Uh, just so... Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, I already have a thing. I thought I didn't. But, yeah, I could, like, go towards the stronghold, and then when I run out of, like, Eyes of Ender, but make a base, do stuff there, like, you know, make a portal to get more blaze rods and go from there and keep going out, you know? And eventually, just on the way to the actual, um... Whatchamacallit, on the way to the uh, end you have like an actual, or to the stronghold, you have like multiple bases that just lead up to it. I know. I like that kind of grandiose idea. Because it's like an idea I had before. I think I didn't even do this as a YouTube series, it's just like, it was when I was just playing like Minecraft casually by myself. And like, I think it's in the Kiznu music um, anime intro video I made. And it shows, like, the world I was in where it's, like, I built this, like, big house just looking over a village. And it was just, like, I just came back from, like, the uh, Woodland Mansion. And I built, like, well, I stayed at that village. I was like, you know, we're going to stay at, like, this village for a little bit just to recoup. And then go from there, you know? Basically, I want to bring that kind of same idea into the actual uh, VOD series. There we go. And who knows, maybe one day I'll actually sit down and edit one of the VODs into an actual video. It just takes time and effort, that's why I don't do it, like. That's why I'm just so much more used to now just, like, streaming instead. It's more casual and more interactive and stuff as well. I'll take gold, don't mind me. Now, Joe, if lava pours, go underneath it, right? 
It's a secret trick, right? You think you're gonna die from burning to death? You don't actually die from burning to death. That's just cringe. That's just like, that's just a false um, uh, thing in the world. People tell you that so you don't discover the secret, you know? It's like when you throw your uh, diamond pickaxe into lava, you know? It just, it's like the um, Terraria lake yoke, where you throw something into it and it just splits it into its like original materials. It doesn't burn it and just disintegrate it and get rid of it from the world, you know? But yeah, then again, another idea would be like, after like, I complete like, the bosses of the world. But then again, I just thought about that. The warden would technically count as one. I guess we'd like be, like just hardcore like setting up like, okay, in order to defeat the warden, we'll need this, this and this, you know? That'd be a massive pain. Especially if I did that in hardcore, the amount of like pressure I would have to try and actually kill the warden in the one hardcore world. We we'd be probably on fifty hardcore worlds if it was always just targeted going towards like the warden. Cause I think even if the warden drops like a lot of blocks, it still has a lot of hearts left. Like it's just that tanky of a being, you know. Oh yeah, and there's also the Dark City. We need to, like, find... Well, not the Dark City. I think it's the Ancient City or something like that. Where it's just, like, all underground and stuff. And you have to crouch around the place or else, like, the Skulk stuff will alert the ward into your location. I think as well, like, if you play around too much in the Skulk, you can actually spawn two of them on you. It's not necessarily a boss. It's, like, a once-off thing. But, yeah... We continue mining, hoping to find some debris. Yeah, just a lot of ideas for the series. But then there's also the idea of playing other games other than just Minecraft and stuff all the time. So I have thought about like playing Terraria by myself and then just titling like playing Terraria until me and Panda play Terraria again. You know? But I eventually I will tell her, it's just like just gonna take some time. Maybe like Wednesday I'll let her know. Or something like that. Just so we can get back into the swing of it. Even if we just like complete like the Terraria series. We don't really do much after that. I'm, I'd be glad with that. I'd be alright with it. Because at one point there was like other ideas. But I don't think like she streams as much anymore. Unless I'm just like not looking at Twitch at times when she's not streaming. You know stuff gets in the way in life and... You just want to chill. Theoretically, I should really take a week off streaming at some point, but like, I don't... It's really hard for me to, like, take a break from all the stuff I do IRL. That's why I have so many things. Like, I have a job, I have these streams, I have, like, to edit some videos and edit Sherry Arbor's story videos and working on Sherry Arbor's story. And then there's, like, me getting back into my exercise streak and, like, actually exercising again. And then there's like little mycelius bits or miscellaneous bits that I do um, when it comes to like just writing stuff on the board just to have down, you know? Like I'd always be working on something. I swear down though, I'm probably going to die by the age of 30 with the amount of stress I put on myself to do things on a daily basis. But to be honest though, I had a- oh, Ancient Bree, let's go. That was the most, I swear that sounded like the most fake reaction. Oh my god, guys! No way! There is ancient debris right here on the screen! Um, I think it was just because I was busy talking, but fucking, whatchamacallit. Um. Oh no, is there just one? Oh, that's depression. Oh, that's actually depression. Eh, it is how it is. I'll take it. Um, whatchamacallit? Oh, it still didn't pick it up. Imagine if I left that behind. It would just despawn at that point. Damn, VTuber starts getting desperate because there's only one ancient debris block. Maybe it's under here. Because sometimes when you do dig around, you'll find, like, the other piece, but usually it's, like, right beside it. It's not usually too far from it. Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to find it, to be honest. I think that's all that we'll see in here. Right, cool. Um, 
I can't fully remember what I was talking about. I know I was talking about, like, Twitch and stuff and what I do and life and stuff. Oh, yeah, I did have a, like, brief moment where I was just like, you know what? I'm actually going to watch the rest of the Euro Camp movie. And you know what? It was nice and comfy, as the series usually is. And I was actually glad I did that. So then I also watched the, um, a Steins Gate movie. Um, you know, it's ancient. It's not really spoilers at all at this point, but... Basically, um, Halloween, like, basically starts, like, disappearing from, like, the, uh, main world timeline. And then, like, um, what you call it, Chris is just like, bro, I, th I don't want you to just not exist, like, come on. And then they use, like, the travel, uh, time travel machine, so on and so forth. And then eventually they do something to bring them back. I actually can't even remember much of the movie, to be honest, but it was a nice watch, honestly. I do know the next bit of, like, Steins Gate stuff is, like, shorts, but, like, I don't really know if I want to watch them. I think I just want to skip straight into the, um, next series or movie, which is, like, I think it's about, um, what if, like, Halloween decided, you know what, I'm not actually going to start using the time machine and fucking around with time and stuff. I'm just going to stay in the current timeline and let Chris stay dead or something like that. Which is, you know, it does make sense for a time-traveling kind of series to also have, like, series based on, like, alternate realities and, like, different timelines of what if and what could have happened and what didn't happen, you know? Okay, there we go. We'll end it there because I don't really want to break this. Even though at this point I might as well just break it. But now I need to remember, though, for the next day. If I'm going to mine again for ancient debris, I need another pickaxe. But yeah, those were like nice moments of time to just actually for once just take a break and just watch a film casually. Because I wasn't even eating lunch or anything like that either. It was just like, you know what? I just feel like just sitting here and just watching a movie for once. And you never know, maybe one day I'll do that and it'll be like, you know what? I feel like renewing my subscription for Netflix and actually watching Breaking Bad. But who knows? I'd like to get a lot of like side stuff in life done like that. So like I already mentioned like how my main stuff is basically streaming, editing videos and sharing our story and stuff and doing work. But like it would also be nice to do like the other side stuff. Like even if it's just normal day to day stuff like because usually I only like hoover my room like roughly once a month. Um and then there's also like I usually leave little notes of various different things. I yeah I have golden boots grant. Do I have gold? I don't. I have nuggets, which I can make into thing now. Hold on. Wait, we're doing a bit of trading now. Uh, gold. Do that. Here we go. Dump the blocks. Hello there, sir. Would you care for some gold? Just gives me netherite armor. <laughs> just no, nah, I don't even think they can drop netherite stuff. Not even scrap like fireball. Okay, it's cool, but we could use more cooler stuff like gravel. If you drop gravel, <laughs> man, I, did I was just joking. You didn't actually have to drop gravel like. My chances, man, of calling gravel and I actually get gravel. Oh, fire... Okay, no, fire potion's actually goaded. Give me that. That's going to save me in so many different scenarios. It's not even funny, like... Did you even... Wait, did I? Oh, I think I did, yeah. Actually, yeah, I'll pick up the soul sand. Um... Yeah, I just need to take care of myself more. That's really it. I gotta learn that it's alright to just relax a little bit. And it's, again, it is so funny though, because at the start of this year, I think it was the start of this year, I was gonna go into this year being like, you know what, we're gonna cease a lot of my activities and start trying to properly find a job, and obviously I found a job in March. Um, but then it's like, now it's just ended up where I'm just like working like a lot of the time. It's like, it's funny as well, because I can't entirely just tell my workplace that I'm working so much and doing my own bits, because it's like, it's kind of awkward. I have told some workmates about, like, Sherry Aubrey's story, but I haven't, like, 
I haven't gone further than that. I haven't told them, like, I'm a VTuber and stuff, you know? Oh, what, what do you do in your spare time? Like, I think I would just say I play games, honestly. Or I just went out with my mate. I don't think I'll tell them I'm a VTuber. I think it's best they don't know. Oh, that... <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Just gonna walk into lava casually real quick. But, um... Yeah. I really do. That That's why, like, some streams, you may notice as well, like... Not even just when I'm tired, but sometimes I'll just be like, you know what, I'll just end the stream here. And go, you know? Just to give myself a bit of time to do this, that, and the other. And I also do, like, um, save VOD still. Even though, like, again, I think it was at the start of this year, I was going to cease a lot of activities. And if I did stream, I would just straight up, just upload the VOD straight to YouTube and make it public instantly. Rather than doing a system I do now where it's like... A VOD goes to YouTube and it gets premiered at a later date, you know? I don't know now, you know? I don't know. And I do kind of have a little bit of an editor's itch again, so sometimes you'll see on the Clips channel just some edits of, like, old shorts where I put, like, different subtitles on and even use a little bit of a, um... What do we call it? I use a little bit of, um, editing as well, like, put a little sound effect in and so on and so forth. Those have been fun to make, because they're short and little pieces, you know? Why? Oh, because, yeah, because this was, uh... Yeah, that was this. And I guess now I can actually get out. I think. Wait, hold on. Before I open the door and unleash hell... Oh, wait, I'm literally going up a corner that doesn't exist. Um, there we go. Hello? Do they... Are they still mad at me? They're grunting, but I don't think they're actually mad at me. Yeah, no, they're... Well, they're zombie pigments. Oh, there's no normal piglins around anymore. I wonder if I went round that way, if I could still... Actually, no, the mine goes that way. Yeah, no, Joe, if you went round that way, would you actually find the fortress? Potentially. Who knows? That's just a game theory for a nerd day. Oh, hi. <laughs> just... Hello, guy. Make yourself a home. This is a nice, lovely place. Oh my god, you got an enchanted one? Damn. It'd be such a shame if you just disappeared. <laughs> it's just... The axe slowly appears at the side of the screen. <laughs> nah, no, I won't kill him. I, I make peace with the pickling kind. You know? Especially because, like, isn't it like in Minecraft Legends they're meant to be, like, villains or something like that? There we go. Now we don't really need to have them out anymore. And I can just easily take them off, like, as well. I'm gonna have to make another chest, man. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fit all the blocks in, especially if I'm gonna bring a lot home. Um... Let me just get this tree. So, I... Oh, wait, I just realized I should probably go back into the nether just to get blaze rods. There's pillagers there. That's lovely. Can I not encounter them? Can I just go in here and just stay in? <laughs> Good choice for a village, Joe. Oh, wait. Damn. I need to put those grippers away. Let me just make another one. Wait, one tree is enough for a double chest? I didn't even know that, honestly. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll leave, like, this stuff in. Just because I can. It's my house. I can do what I want. Uh, another rack. Uh... There are cats around, so the village isn't entirely dead. There are some other, like, animals just hanging around. Block, 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 block. They just, like, don't even get the last few, like. We do that. Okay, let me just put that there. So, like, when I put this in here. Boom, boom. Can we not rest now? Oh, bed's too far away. I thought there was monsters. I was going to be like, damn. 
guess I'm gonna have to fight the pillagers after all. Uh, do that. Okay, all right. Let me put this in here. Uh, gravel, yeah, you can just stay down here with dirt or something like that until I start digging up a lot of dirt. You guys can get your own separate rows for now. Uh, you can just go beside the deep slate. Uh, and then I guess the quartz can just kind of go in here for now. Wait, there we go. Actually, can I... Yeah, it feels nicer to just leave that beside there. And then those are bricks, so I'm just going to leave those here. Obsidian. Yeah, go on. Let's just take this corner. Take a corner, any corner. Mushroom. Cool. Put, well, actually, no. Let me put that there and then leave these two down here. Nah, leave the three down there. Oh, excuse me. And we have another door, so I guess I'll just leave that there. Fire charges. I don't know where, so I'm just going to put that there. Flint. Lead. We'll leave that with the toolish kind of stuff. Then the fire potion we can just leave. I mean, I can't... I can't just give you that, can I, actually? Nah. Imagine if it could hold that, though. Right. Just leave that in there. Actually, no, I'll put it up here with the tools. So it's a bit more easier to see. And technically, I don't really need the map on me. Yeah, you know, actually, I will build the thing. Just let me do this real quick. <laughs> give me, give me it back. Thank you. Oh God. Wait, why is it in reverse? Yeah, it should be this way. Okay, maybe I won't have the map up forever. I'll just leave it there for now, because I don't rip... Mm -hmm. It's just, I'm thinking, like, what happens if a creeper just comes in and blows it up? It's like, Joe, please. I know you're thinking about all the situations, but, like, you don't actually have to, like, simulate them. Or attempt to simulate them. God, they are kind of annoying that they're just staying there. And, like, one of them's literally just looking directly at my face. It's like, he knows I'm in here, like... Ready myself for battle. Actually, no, yeah. Mm. No, I'll leave it in that hand. Right, come on. Let's fight. Okay, at least none of them have a piercing. There's one missing now. Where's the last one? Like the one with the actual banner. They just like false in there. I like the weird variety we have going on here. We've like potatoes, carrots, beetroot, and wheat all growing in the same farm. I guess this is. Wait, no way. Is that another part of the? I don't think I've been down there, have I? Because I do remember being over, yeah, over there. But I don't think. Oh yeah, because I saw that. I think. Did I? No way. Did I? Nope, Joe. You've not been in here. Thank God you checked. There we go. We can just retire the boots a little bit. Just leave them in the chest. Yeah, I feel like it'd be cool though. Just to like actually let this village thrive a little bit. Um, Let me just leave the diamond boots in here. So they're not being used. That still has an arrow in it. So I think I'll just dislodge it real quick. Thank you. That's mine now. Um, I don't really want... Uh, maybe I should keep it, actually, because this bow looks like it's actually on its last legs. Uh, leave you with the tools. Do that. Saddle, I guess I'll just leave that there. I'll actually put that there instead. Let's put you here. Iron. Oh, yeah, that's a thing I was going to do as well. I was going to make um, an anvil, but at the same time, it's just like, should I? 
Actually, yeah, no, a, a golem would cost more than an anvil because an anvil is like three blocks of iron, whilst a golem is four blocks of iron. And obviously, uh, three pieces for the anvil. Or is it four? I think it's four pieces, like four uh, ingots. Hmm. Okay, let me leave the armor here. I don't think I'm ever going to have a horse, but if I ever do, then the armor's there. Actually, no. But why am I leaving that there? Actually, I can leave that there, but I'll just leave this down here. Uh, God, every time I look at the game, it just looks nicer now. That has shaders on. Just let, let, Let's just stop and appreciate the game for a minute, you know? Just take a sip of water. And get axed in the back by a pillager. Okay, so I've restored a house. But in order for us to heal the villagers, we need golden apples. Actually, let me just check this farm as well. Because I did check the other one. Uh, okay, so we got... Yeah, same sort of stuff. I don't know if they were just panicking and just like, you know, just decide, you know what, plant anything. You know, just in case. But that's what it kind of feels like, honestly. So I need to go back into the nether. And we're not going to get ancient debris this time. Uh, we're going to actually get... Right, I need to actually empty a slot. We need to go back into the nether, go down the mine, but stop when I hear the blaze and start mining towards it just to see if we can actually find the uh, where the blazes are coming from. And actually, let me bring the potion as well. Oh, and actually, Joe, it would be nice if you got the flint and steel. Okay, let me just eat the apple first. There we go. Swap that. Close that. Right, back into the nether so soon as well. I gotta watch out for time now. I really gotta give myself a break soon. Well, not even just a break. I just gotta end the stream soon. So that I'm not tiring myself out right I have the gold boots for good and I'll do this for my future self you're welcome future self if you're watching this back which is actually kind of likely you know you never know what's gonna happen maybe in the future I decide you know what I'm gonna stop streaming and I'm actually gonna edit all the VODs I've made over time because there have been some just gold moments that have happened in streams but haven't been clipped. Because I'm just too lazy to remember them. But there have been a few times I actually remember a gold moment and I go back to actually clip it. Oh, that's good. I thought the gravel was going to fall, honestly. Are we at the bottom already? I think we are. Damn, I need to go a bit slower then. Because I swear it was on the way down the mine we could hear the, um, whatchamacallit, the blaze is just, like, existing. <laughs> just We just heard the blaze is existing. Oh, blaze crackles. The blaze is this way, I think. Blaze. Oh, no, that's that, isn't it? Actually, no, wait, no, it's saying fire crackles and blaze crackles, so it's different, I think. I wonder if it's above us. Okay, I'm about to do the stupidest thing ever and mine up in the nether. Wish me luck. Have the fire potion on standby. Have the totem on standby. Okay, hold on. Fire crackles block blaze crackles the blaze is yeah i think it's oh <laughs> hmm i wonder where that noise is coming from bro no seriously what is my luck in this world to have like the chance to just spawn beside multiple of the fortresses or be near one anyway okay hold on let me just I just don't trust this at all. Especially because it's like blazes are around as well. I think I'm in a pillar. And that's why I'm not finding much right now. 
I'm scared that like there's a big pool of lava like right beside me. Okay, this is very unnerving. Okay, hold on. Oh wait. Hello. Okay, we gotta really be careful here. I've come in here from a hunch. use these blocks so I can actually find my way back so it's like right, let me just get rid of that do a little fire so I mean a fire in the middle of a staircase is a bit suspicious what I've been here no way that's my wood bro what are the chances well actually the chances are pretty high Unless, if I go back this way, will I find my portal? Oh god. Stop, 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 stop. You're, 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 you're setting everything on fire now. Jesus. You're bleeding. Oh, move. You're bleeding, Vandal. Oh, there's the magma cube. I was wondering where that was. There's an herb blaze. I want to run out of steak, honestly. I wonder where we are, though. I really should, like, the one time I should have actually brought the map just to see where we are. Okay, let me just kill these guys first. Because I have a feeling, like, if I follow this nether fortress, like, to a certain way, I'll actually end up at the other portal back at home. Which would be so cool, because that would mean I could legitimately just, like, travel back and forth between home and here. Now, obviously, I'd have to kind of safe-proof it a bit more, but, like, you know, if I'm intelligent enough, I should be able to do that. But I don't know if you've seen my uh, attempts to get around lava. It didn't go well. I can actually take some of this wood out. Because there's really no point in keeping all of it in here. And they give me a bit more maneuverability. Let me just take that as well. There we go. Okay. So I just need to leave like a... Um... Yeah, I need to leave like... Maybe even just like a double fire just somewhere. What was that? Oh no, that's just a fire, isn't it? It's not a blaze. It's just, I thought it was a blaze just hanging down there, just waiting for me to go down there. Come on. I think this would help. Come on. There we go. So it's just like a clear indication on where I need to go to get home. Okay, the pigman means you no harm, Joe. Yeah, he, he's definitely going to fire soon. Well, whoop. Okay, I got a blaze rod, so I could actually technically go, but... I'm too curious now. Maybe I'll just dig in a tiny bit more, just in case I, um... Wither skeleton starts to come in. Oh, that's not what I was expecting to see. Just a secret cave. Anyway. Okay, I need to seriously be really careful here. Okay, th this is legit nothing. learned my lesson. Kinda. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I just tried to securely go around all this shit, and it's just like, I don't even need to be that, like, cautious. Oh, now I need to be cautious. Now I need to be cautious. Come on, give us a wither skeleton skull. Oh, there you go. Nope, just coal. I'll still take it, though. 
Nope, didn't drop one. Oh, this is the most danger I'm putting myself in. I don't even... Like, I'm not even going to be using the shield to defend myself. See, this is why I build it the other way. So, like, I can actually, like, get easier shots in their heads. Yeah, I don't really want the sword, to be honest. But, but I guess I'll still pick it up anyway. Okay, actually, hold on. Let me just, like, light up the hallway a little bit. See if it, like, gives them less chance to spawn. Imagine if one of them just pushes the other through, like... That'd be tragic. <gasps> oh, we found one! We actually got it! We got a Wither Skull! Let's go! Season 2 is off to a good start now. Let's go. Okay, I... Well, I, there's only a pigman behind me. Like a, a zombified one, so... Just let me do this real quick. This is just so we have more gold to trade. I'm just hoping a piglin isn't close by and it's like, yo, bro, are you trying to, like, desecrate the sacred gold that's in our, like, soil? No way. We are not having that. Come on, where's the lava? You know you want to spawn lava on me. Oh, there was lava above here. I see, yeah, it's dripping there. I mean, that actually does look cool, though. Okay, um, I'm just gonna cover that up. I don't trust any inch of this. I love this view, though. Um, but it does blind me when I look at lava, not gonna lie. This is such a weird layout, but I'm willing to hear it out. Mm, it is strange. Every time it says footsteps, I keep thinking that there's more than just me down here, but to be honest, it probably is, but at the same time, it could just be my own footsteps. I wish you could, like, customize the subtitles to only, like, you know, tell you about certain things. You know? So, like, you know, any player sounds, like, I don't really care what I'm sounding like, you know, as long as it's just thing. But I do get, though, at the same time, it's for accessibility reasons that they even have subtitles. Especially if you're, like, deaf or something and you're playing Minecraft. It actually helps you out a little bit. Okay, there's an Enderman down here. Um, straight ahead. Ah, yeah, there's a blade. Yeah, so this is literally the fortress that, like, if I go... I think it's this way. If I go down this way, this will lead me back to home. Because this is... Oh, no, it's not. Maybe it's the other way, then. But then again, I shouldn't be too surprised, because I am on the same map. But it's just... It's a weird coincidence that the actual, like... You know, this nether fortress actually reaches out so far... That it connects back to, um, thing. Yeah, no, if I go... This one's gone, isn't it? Yeah, because I got rid of it, because it's out in the open. Is that basalt? No, it's nothing. It's legit nothing, this job. Oh, hi. Don't mind me, just coming through. <laughs> just, don't mind me, just casually slipping by, don't mind. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna get raided here in a minute. Ow, ow, ow. And when I say raided, I mean raided by bleeding wither skeletons. Come on, second skull. Could you imagine the look of that if I actually got two? But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure if I... Wait, it's not this way either? Or maybe this is that... No, this couldn't be that other fortress by the uh, Woodland Mansion. Because that's way too far out. Yo, bro, that's way too far out. This is going to be a mistake and a half if I do this wrong. Okay, no, cool. I'm going to leave on purposely um, a few fires in here. Just so I don't actually, like, 
lose my way. There's another blaze, and I think if I predict right, there'll probably be more. Yeah, see, there's a torch there, which means that's the way home. I'm pretty sure. Like, the way back to normal home. What is that? Oh, no, it's Enderman. Okay. Be careful, Joe. Don't piss off the Enderman. <laughs> you don't want to mess with the Enderman. No, 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 no. You don't want to mess with the Enderman. Shoot him, I dare you. Actually, shoot him, I dare you. Fella played with fire and got burnt. Or is playing with fire and is going to hopefully get burnt. Good job. Yeah, see, this is back home. This is that box that leads into this fortress. So, if I really wanted to, I could actually set up an actual um, transit system in here. Or at least mark, like, uh, where to go. Even though, like, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going now, but... It's just in the future if I come back, you know? So if I ever need to, like, go home fast for whatever reason, I can literally just use the nether now. There's a few skeletons down there that we can probably take. If I just do this right. It's just still not a second skull. It's still not a second skull. Skull emoji. Uh, I don't think it's that way. Yeah, it's this way, I'm pretty sure. Let me just light this up. And then maybe just replace these blocks with, uh, whatchamacallit, some netherrack. I don't know, there's something about this that's just so cool. That it's just basically all like kind of interconnected, you know? You know, actually, J just to overdo it. There you go. Just to make sure when I go up there and maybe even in here, that's like not going to be full of wither skeletons and shit. Uh, right, and then we just keep going down. That's basically the best way to remember how we get back out here now to the second base is literally just... It's all full of, like, um, stairway. Or it's like a stairway. Well, two stairways down. Right, that's the wither. Or not the wither, the uh, blazes. I think it's this way. So I went that other way and it doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, see, I built that there as well. Which I really should change, but effort. <laughs> Just the effort of it, though. Hello, pigment. Right, and then... Oh, man, I wonder, Joe, which way is it? Is it not, It's not the bright blazing, f like, flames that are the way back, no? I still love this so much. It's basically what I wanted, honestly, out of the nether. Like, an actual, like, transit system now. Where I can, like, if I need to fast travel back home, I can just go into the nether and go from there. And I'll just put a fire there. Then, where... Oh, yeah, see, it's literally just up this way as well. There we go. Man, that is seriously so cool. At least now, if I need to go home, I could just go straight home. At least I didn't go home there, because I still have the omen on me, and I would be screwing over the village, so... Let's try not do that. That wouldn't be nice. Let's screw up the current village instead. Yeah, so now we have blaze, so we can make blaze powder, which powered, uh, powers the, um, whatchamacallit, it powers the Yokima Bob. Oh, hi. Are you alright? It's just, how did you even get in? I mean, I, I shouldn't even really worry about that too much, because you're grand with me, but... Oh, he must be from the overworld, probably. Just going back through. It's so nice to be back here. Like, look, we're making a lot of progress now. Um, weakness potion. I think it's spider eye, if I remember right. But I don't 
kind of have a spider eye, to be honest with you. It's not something that I necessarily carry around with me. Uh, let's see. Coal, I could just leave you in there. Take that. Then put that by here. Put that. I mean, to be honest, I could just use it up. Oh, what am I going to do? Smelt it for stone? <laughs> um, bones, I could put there. These, I could put there. The blocks, I can put here and here. That's why nether... Uh, Rack is at the top. My brain literally lagged there for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, then I need to swap you guys around. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to just end up putting these guys on the same row, and maybe even just down one so that like if I do get more nether rack stuff, I have to can do to you. boots. We can swap them off. Uh, we can actually put the skull on, which is definitely not gonna scare the shell me every time I come to, into this house. And. Uh, put the potion up here. The blaze rod we have on me. Yeah, no, we can change the blaze rod and thing because I'm uh, I'm almost certain like we need to use it as uh, fuel for thing. Um, yeah, I think it's just a spider eye we need, but we just don't really have one right now. Cause I think oh we need glass bottles as well, and I actually need proper glass this time, not the uh, pain glass. I'm actually happy that the like sand is so close here. I could just legit just run over here and just pick it up. Until like I get rid of too much of this sand, which is why I'm gonna get this side of sand instead. You know? There we go. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, season two off to a good start. New village, new uh, objective. I already got a wither skull. Basically, the wither skull is kind of like foreshadowing like the future seasons. <laughs> Man, I need to stop talking as if this is like an anime. But it is a cool labeling system though, so can't even doubt me for using that. Let me just chuck that in there. And you know, just for my own sake, I'm gonna bring the. Uh... It's in there. Let me bring this over so I don't have to run over to it every time. Uh, and I guess I'll get the libra yeah, librarian's uh, yoke as well. Sure, I'm technically stealing their shit, but you know, it's just, it's, it's shush. Who's gonna say anything, right? For all these like villagers, zombie villagers, know like I was always here, and I'm just a hero because I'm actually like trying to save them, even if they remember everything that happens. You know, they understand that sometimes you just have to do some things you don't want to do to save the village. I just have my little brewing corner. And I guess I'll um, I'll make a, another chest as well, just to keep some potion stuff in it. Uh, take that. I think two should be enough for a yoke, but just in case I'm making a lot of them. How do I make? How, wait, how do I make glass ball? <laughs> I don't actually know. It's two, isn't it? Oh no, it's three. Yeah. Uh, right, let me put that here, like, it's funny because I said I wouldn't ever need glass panes, but here we are. Ah, uh, let me see, okay. We have the tome, we have the shield, I guess I'll put the shield here. Dark oak is actually kind of rare to get, so I'm actually not going to use that. I'm going to just get under a tree and fell it. Now, if we get attacked by pillagers, though, we run into the house and we stay in there. Until I absolutely have to leave. Right. I wonder if actually the bad omen has anything to do with the pillagers constantly trying to find me. Bro, five minutes? How long have we been going? Three hours? It doesn't even feel like it, honestly. I think I always say that about Minecraft, but it's the truth, though. Like, it genuinely doesn't feel like we've been passing a lot of time. And actually, spruce is kind of getting rare now, because, like... We don't have spruce trees nearby. I guess we can go over here to get the water. Don't worry about, like, actually, you know, like, filtering the water properly so it's actually drinkable. Just, you know, take it straight from the water, like, source, you know? No problem. Take it straight from the lake. I think it's a lake, isn't it? Well, not really a lake. It's kind of just a puddle of water, to be honest. 
But it's there. It exists. Right. Oh, can I get in? Before I drink it accidentally. Put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, yeah, so one of it's already gone in. Which proves my point. And then I just need a spider eye. Which I shouldn't have gone to sleep, I just realized. Shiza. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn these into blocks, actually, instead. Because they're probably handier as blocks than anything else. Especially for storage, like, case. Yeah, I guess I'll leave that there. Put that... Actually, no, yeah, put that there. And we'll go from there. I need another shield, too. Books, I could just leave, I guess, in here. Man, I already need another chest, like. We already have two out. Okay. Right, let me... Take a moment, so okay. So, again, I'm pretty sure it's weakness, and I think you use redstone or something to turn them into... Yoke. Let me just try it out. I think it turns it into splash, because we need them to be splash as well. Unless that's something else. We could absolutely screw the potions up here, but it doesn't matter. Like, we're in the experimental phase anyway. This is probably something I haven't done on stream, have I? <laughs> Actually brewed potions. Come on, turn them into thing. Okay, mundane potions. Will that screw up the bottom line? I don't know. But I guess we'll see. And it barely used any of the meter, so we're good. Oh, what was it? I might have to look it up, honestly. Unless it's gunpowder. I feel like it's gunpowder. Okay, you know what? Spider eyes and gunpowder. Where's an easy place we can go to get those? This way. Why wait till night when you could just go to the night? Oh, actually, it'd be nice if I swapped that around. Damn, I'm pampering my future self here. They're going to be so glad I did all this work now. <laughs> so I'd have to do it later. Okay, so... Okay, and there is gravel here. Okay, let me just leave it there. Instead of on the ceiling, just in case. Okay, it's legit just an underground thing. I'm glad I looked at it, though, just in case. I see the torch up there that way. Hmm. Mysterious. Oh, wait. Is there any way I can make it down safely? There we go. There's a creeper. The first thing we need. And the skeleton's kind of unnecessarily being a dickhead. There's... Oh, ow. Don't mind me. Just going to ca casually get that. Do we add, oh, oh hey man, you're not the protagonist, man. I'm gonna start bringing that phase here, even though I've been saying that a lot during Resident Evil streams. I don't know what it is about that sentence, I just like saying it. I like to crush their dreams. Okay, um, yeah, that skeleton's still around. There they are. Ah, screw it, I'll just go for it. There's a nerd creeper there if I need them. Yeah, because I don't have gunpowder, so I'm actually going to have to go for them. I feel like I'm going to be safe enough, even though I'm probably jinxing myself by saying that, but... Right. Okay, don't let him blow up. You actually need him to be alive. Man, oh god. No, not the Enderman. No, 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 no. We don't want to mess with the Enderman. No, no, no. You do not mess with... The end of my no, 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 no. Okay, no, but seriously, why is there an Enderman here now? It's like, I'm looking for creepers, and like, the Enderman's like, hi. Even a spider would be nice, because I actually need a spider as well. Sorry, just coming through, don't mind me. There's one. I don't even think he dropped it. Oh, he did, actually. Okay, we can get that. Is there 
someone down there? I don't think so. Right. We only need one anyway to test testing, but now I need spider. Come on, let me hear some hissing. I don't see any red eyes. It's just like, I'm not even really bothered to travel far just to get them, because I could just go back to the surface and wait and be safer. Because at least up there I have my house to retreat to. With down here, it's like you run back to the torch and you hope you get up the stairs. Yeah, grand. Just get this real quick. No harm into picking up a little bit of extra iron on the way. Uh, that's the way up, and it's still day, so I might as well keep going. So I think there was another, like, kind of cave system I dug into. Unless I'm just thinking about another world. Honestly, it is kind of annoying finding other, like, stones underground. Yep, I called it. Oh, yeah, it was over that way. And then... This is all copper. I'm gonna just leave that on the wall. Just because I can actually afford it. Oh my- okay, wait, Joe. How about we just get rid of that spike first? Because I do not trust spikes at all in this game. I feel like you drop two feet and they would just kill you. That's the kind of vibe I get from them. Okay, now this definitely has high potential for like more of the mobs I'm looking for. But. The question is, is there an actual spider down here, or am I just hoping too much? There's no creeper. Eh. See, I'm, I'm trying to keep myself alive. That would be appreciated. And actually, you know, I'll just uh, plug that. Actually, I don't even need to plug it. I just need to do that, so it's like less space for them to move around. Yeah, grand. I think it looks like, anyway, it's turning... Uh, thing time up here, so We'll go Unless it nah, I think it's still like midday There wouldn't be any harm anyway to just harvest some crops to actually get more food because I don't really have a lot Oh, yeah, no actually it is going down But I am going to make room So I can do this just basically erase the pallet because realistically all we actually need to grow here is just like wheat we don't really need anything else I didn't know what they were for a minute but they're just squids just spinning in the water like having the time of their lives uh, d -d 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 -d. I think there's another there is one other farm. Where was it? Just before I go and sleep. There it is. Oh yeah, and I need it to be night anyway so I can actually get the um, spiders. But this transition to night is nice though. Thank you. I mean, even the farm has a bit of web on it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, I need to... I think more than anything, I need to totem on. Definitely at night. And now I guess we just wait. We legitimately just wait now for spiders to start spawning. But for the time being, I could put away... Actually, no. I'm going to use the gunpowder and see if it works. Then I'll put away some shit. So, beetroot. Uh, wheat, we can just make into bread. We're getting that bread, gamers. There we go. Put our 
actually. What did that do? There we go. That's it. So now it's a splash, po uh, splash potion. Splash potion. Now, I don't know if I can actually use it because it's mundane, but we'll see. We'll probably get multiple spider eyes just to try it out. We'll just put those away. Uh, we can put the co uh, that copper, the iron in there, put that there, put this at the top, bones. Wait, no, that goes in here. Then the extra wheat, I guess that could just go here or something. I really need to make another chest already, man. Right, yeah, I see mobs starting to spawn out here. I guess the best thing to do is literally just start hunting. And maybe saving my sprint a bit in case I start losing hearts. Once I see the red glow, you know I'm going to aim for it. Oh. I really should have brought at least one wolf just to deter the skeletons a little. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely going to work, like. Fucking hell, Joe. Is that one? No, it's just webs. Okay, hold on. I'm going to keep the bread out for a minute just to see if I can do thing. We definitely need another gunpowder in case the uh, mundane potions can't be turned into weakness. And then we also need to find gold, I just realized as well, because we already used gold. Well, actually, we have gold. I just need a surround thing, like an apple. I think it's with nuggets. I don't think it's with um, bars. Oh, no, it might be bars and then gold blocks for a thing. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on. We're, we're, we're pure gamer mode now. Oh, my God. Okay. Never mind, they're, they are tanking me. Okay, yeah, I'm actually going inside. I do not like this. <laughs> Bro. They are thumping me hard, man. Holy shit. No chill. Let me at least heal up, man. Almost opening the up and letting them in. Don't mind me. Sorry, just blowing my nose again. Right. Okay, let's uh, let's just eat up and try again. There he is. There's a spider in the distance. I want your bow. Doesn't drop bow. Okay, can you? Oh, there's two of them, Grant. We have... Oh well, no, I think there's three. No, there's two. And I'm only going to get string, aren't I? Oh, no, I got an eye. Grand. Now I can run away. Back into home. It's probably the first nights I've actually spent up in a while. Oh, my God. Why are you invisible? Do spiders just spawn with, like, random effects sometimes? Like, I swear there was some strength spiders I saw before as well. Like, thank God their eyes glow, man. I would never have seen that. Anyway. We have two eyes to try. Yeah, so that won't work now because those are just mundane. Um, we'll just leave those in there in case I need them for something else. So now I need to make more glass balls. I need to go to the water and actually uh, get water. I need the gunpowder as well, so I'm going to take that out. And we'll go from there. I need to make another shield as well, actually, when I remember. There we go. It's, like, funny how I have netherite stuff on and I'm still worried about dying and stuff. Just shows how much hardcore is, like, don't thing to me. I just want to... Oh, there's two of you. Nah, never mind. I'm grand. <laughs> just more than one? Nah. This guy's trying to face bosses in the future. No way. Uh, wait. Yes, actually, go. Never mind. You were going to knock down the door. I saw that. 
That's the only reason I opened the door and let him in. Oh, okay. I guess we're turning those into that now. It's just like, I right, instead of uh, going with the mistake, we do thing. Oh, that's mundane as well. What am I missing? That is so annoying, and I'm using all the thing up as well. I need to look this up before I waste every bit of like things I have. One, two, three. Put the glass away. Uh, I don't think I could just put them straight on. I can, but like, not really a point in doing so, is there? Okay, I'm gonna get the water again, but then I'm gonna actually like, look at like what the recipe is for it. Oh my god. Oh, th this is gonna be a disaster. I'm calling it. Oh my god. Where did he even blow up? Holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. You don't always hear a creeper just blowing up in the distance, like. Unless the world's lagging or something like that. Okay, grab. Water, water, water. Grab. I know I need them to be... Actually, just in case, I won't. Okay, hold on. I need to look this up real quick. Uh, the world? Yeah, the world's pause, grand. Uh, just Google, please. If you could stop loading my Twitch, that'd be nice. Very nice start. How to make a weakness potion. Can, can I not get a video? Can I just get it in text? Like, why? Like, I don't need to watch a video just to know. Fine, I guess I will. Oh my god. It's going to take a while to load. I will give it a second. We'll give it a second now. Oh, fermented. So I need sugar as well. Wait, what else do I need actually? That mushroom though. Okay, yeah, I get it now. Okay, so we need a fermented spider eye. That's where I was going wrong. I knew it was an eye, but I just didn't know which eye. Okay, so we need sugar cane and we need the mushroom from earlier round. So let me just put this shit away. Um, so I need sugar cane. I don't think I've seen any sugar cane out there. Okay, so we don't have sugar. Um, wait, what was it? Oh my god, the mushroom. Yeah, that's it. Do I still have? Yeah, the mushroom's here. So we have the mushroom. Mushroom eye. And then we just need sugar cane. I thought that was a... I saw hisses at the bottom, like, why? Hello? This <laughs> is... Hello? Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep just so I can actually go and explore to try and find what we require. Oh my god. Just give me a minute. This fellow wants a scrap, right? We do it proper. Uh, if I remembered how to actually make a... It's in the middle, actually, isn't it? Wait, it's in the middle. I can't spell shield. Oh, it's up top. Oh, don't worry, fella. I'm ready for you. Come on. Where are you? <laughs> Literally prepared for nothing. Like We got the uh, armor piece anyway. I'll take that. I think the, um, not gonna lie, I think that looks cooler. Um, yeah, I'll actually keep this piece on me because that's about to break. And I'll put that there. So, I need to find sugar cane. How likely is it that there's just sugar cane just sitting somewhere, just waiting for me? Because other than sugar cane, that's really it. Because then, oh, what I should do is grow the mushroom. 
Wait, actually, I have it on me. What am I doing? Um, I think I'll just, like... Uh, let me just dig a tiny bit more out. And then just hope the light level's enough. Uh, maybe if I, like, just cover it. Actually, wait, no, Joe, you're not giving it enough space. You need a lot more space than that. There we go. Just so, like, if we can get more, we'll have more. Then all I need now is sugarcane, which I think the best, like, course of action is... Well, firstly, to check over by the water, because there could be just sugarcane there, and I just missed it all the time. And there's not any over here. We need to go back to, or go up that mountain. Yeah, no, there's none there. Unless, actually, is the ocean near us? There we go. Ah, that's it. Found it. How did I miss? We do not question the stupid decisions and actions of this individual who streams right now. We just let him be. Let him be. Let him be. Let him be. Ancient words of wisdom. Let him be. Feels weird that beet, like, yeah, beetroot was after, like, sugarcane. I feel like sugarcane's like an OG, like, thing that was in Minecraft before many things. Okay, so if you do three, that's a page, isn't it? Yeah, so what is sugar? I have no clue what sugar is. Do I put it in a furnace? Oh, I saw it there. <laughs> it's two, isn't it? Wait. Oh, it's one. Grand. Okay, can I make two? That'd be nice. Sugar cane. I doubt that mushroom's gonna grow fast, but hey, you never know. We'll have a look. Nah. Yeah, it's probably gonna take a while to like grow another. So, you know, I'm gonna leave it for a bit. But whilst I leave it... Actually, wait, was there any just underground? Be so handy. And if there's none underground, couldn't I just, like, go to... Um, I could just go to the nether, right? Yeah, no, there's none up here. We can also have a look in the nether, because, like, that probably would have a high chance of a mushroom just, you know, growing naturally. That's a witch. Don't really want to deal with that, to be honest. I'm good, thank you. You know it's serious when he starts to put on the other armor. I just need to go get, or go into the nether, just have a little peek in, see if there's any, uh, whatchamacallit, if there's anything or not. Go from there. Don't think we'll need flint, but watch me, mis like, somehow get, like, a gas to, like, hit this portal or something and I can't go back, like, that would be tragic. Right, and I'm wearing gold boots, so it should be good. Let me just, uh... If my brain would like to register. Okay, is there... There's those kind of mushrooms. I don't know if they work. I mean, no harm to try, right? Hi. <laughs> I forgot you were up there. Just gonna rob one of those. Grand. I don't think I'm gonna bother with anything else just in case I die. Actually, hold on. Let me just double check down here. Just to see if there's like another mushroom before that other mushroom grows at home. Fortress might, right? Nah, you know, I don't feel like dying today. I'm good. Yeah, to be honest, I doubt there's any down here. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think, like, 
where else I'd go. I'm just seeing if I can make more than one weakness potion right now. Because, like, I have three villagers that I want to heal. Actually, I should even check to make sure they're all there. I know one of them's still there because I heard them on the way out, but... What if the others despawned, you know? I imagine, though, if, you, like, when you turn into a villager, you still get to keep that armor on you. That'd be so handy. It'd just be, like, the toughest villager we have, like... Can I eat this? No. Let's <laughs> just imagine. To be honest though, I don't think I can do anything with this mushroom. I think it's mainly for growing the trees. I'm also trying to think of where else. Like legit, probably just going into a normal ass cave would probably have mushrooms. But then again, even some of these houses might just have like mushrooms randomly growing in them, right? On, sir. sir. Sorry, let me... There, your block privileges have been removed. Hmm. I don't know now. To tell you the truth, I actually don't know. That's a bit concerning. Yeah, you're in there. That guy's in there. Oh, not in there. In there. Yeah. And then I think there's like one more somewhere else. Actually, was it? No, it wasn't you I got rid of thing for, was it? Actually, it was, wasn't it? Then where's the other guy? I'm pretty sure there's three I trapped in. Actually, just double check. Whilst it's actually open to see if there's any like mushrooms growing inside it. Okay, no. Doesn't look it. And then I don't think there's anything here except. Actually, I've checked these, haven't I? God, that scared the shit out of me. Just the sheep eating a thing, like. Oh, and there's an yeah, there's another brewing stand in here. Didn't even realize that. Nope, just a tree. Yeah, no, I'm good. Just put that on real quick. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the other guy. Yeah, so there are still three guys here. That one thing. I wonder, actually, maybe... I feel like I might have left... Well, I did leave stuff in these, but... I don't think I would have left a mushroom. Because I genuinely don't remember if I had any other mushrooms. I guess it's best to just try the one we have before just looking around the place for one. This, take that out, put that away, leave that there, put that away. Uh, okay. Actually, I didn't even need to make it in this inventory, I don't think. I could just do the thing. Yeah, no, that won't work. Grant. I just went into the nether to pick it up for no reason. Um, I mean, it's meant to be down in here. Oh, yeah, he's up above me. I could... Okay, hold on. Let me cook, let me cook. Uh, not even many of them, just two will do. I don't think this will work, but just on the odd chance that it does work. I think it's just trying to grow into a, a tall mushroom. I don't think that's going to actually work. Okay, I guess that's my next objective now. Is legitimately just trying to find a um, another mushroom. Just so I don't, like, so that I can have, like, a thing, you know? Because it'd be a shame to use that one mushroom and then we don't come across another one for a while. And it's basically going to be the last thing I do today. If only there's like a dark oak forest nearby. Because that'd be the only other place I think of like mushrooms growing in. I mean, this looks a bit dark, doesn't it? Maybe in here. Oh. 
Oh, it's just sheep. I thought that was so... Where's it go? Yeah, it's a sheep. Literally have to, like, look into my monitor and all just to see. I mean, if there's not a mushroom down here, I swear down that. Fella was shocked with that last hit. His world was rumbled. Oh, it's water. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I walked up to it. I feel like up there would be a good chance to see things. Ah, come on, game. You know you want to spawn some random mushrooms on me. See, I'm kind of... When I look down, I actually see, like, it as a normal cave. So that's why I'm tripping out a little bit. Because it doesn't feel like it should be a cave. If, or, like, a water here. It feels like it's just... <laughs> you jump and you go straight down, like... Yeah, I think over there might be the best chance we have. To be honest with you. You know, to be quite... Oh, God. Try not to be dragged in the water challenge. Very hard. Uh, no. Imagine if it actually wasn't water and I just <laughs> jumped into the abyss. God help me. Okay, we can continue to climb up anyway, because I was going to use this as a kind of vantage point. Because if for some reason there's an actual um, mushroom, dark forest biome nearby, I could actually use that to my advantage when getting mushrooms. Just watch though, I die. I literally go back to the village, know that I can't run back, look at the mushrooms, and then they've actually grown. Like There's actually multiple. I should have given it more room now that I think about it, but... Ah. Sure, you learn and you live. You live and you learn, sorry. Yeah, no, to be honest, there is not much going on out here. Which is kind of a good thing and not a bad thing at the same time. There's a cave system. Man, I don't know why. I just remembered there the, um... There was a TikTok where it showed, like, a... Uh, is that pumpkin? Yeah, there's just pumpkins. There's a TikTok where somebody was just running across, like, a snowy mountain in Minecraft. And, like, they just go through powdered snow. They go straight through, and they just drop down into what looked like the underground from, like, Undertale. Well, not what looked like, but what felt like. Because Fella dropped for a little bit, like... Well, I say for a little bit. Pure, just, like, 30 seconds uninterrupted of just dropping. Not able to do anything but just witness his death. Yeah, you know, I'm going to expand the mushroom thing and then think about if I need to do anything else. Like, maybe even just renovating the other houses wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, or even, like, um, do something with that house. Maybe start turning it, like, into a nether kind of house. Because we have a lot of nether brick and stuff. And nether rack. Come on, grow. You know you want to grow. There we go. Look, we're giving you room now. I've never had to actually, like, make a mushroom farm. I don't think in any of the streams I've ever made a mushroom farm. Until today. There we go. This should be big enough, right? Imagine if you could... Uh, I think, actually, people do use redstone torches, because I think it's not... Like, it's... Um, not bright enough to stop mushrooms from growing. God, something beautiful about the way the game is right now. I really do think the uh, shaders and all that actually do have a... Um, like, it also is a Minecraft optimizer as well. So it's making it look better than it usually is. It's just beautiful, you know? Like, I feel like in the future we definitely need to do like a Minecraft VR stream. Like, if I ever get a different like PC and... Like, get a VR headset for a start. Like, I'd definitely do something like that. Even just playing VR games in general on stream would just be so cool. Now, how I'd even set it up with the model at the same time is beyond me. Unless we have, like, um, VR chat running at the same time. <laughs> that, actually, that wouldn't even be a bad strap, would it? 
just like leave VR chat on. Leave it as like a webcam kind of point of view. Go into a world that's just like fully, um, what should we call it? A world that's fully like green screen and just green screen like myself into it. Cause I'm pretty sure I can import my VTuber model straight into, uh, what should we call it? Into VR chat. I think they would work fine. Like. This sheep just emerges from the hellscape it came from. But yeah, I guess we're at a roadblock now. There's legit not much I can do unless I make an anvil. Just to fix up the bow. But at that point, I might as well just make a new bow. Okay, how about I make... Well, first I need a tree. So I can actually... Like, get more wood to make more chests. Watch me, like, randomly come across mushrooms just from chopping down trees somehow. Like, I'm just gonna go waddling down the path. Just burst through the trees. And it's like, oh, look, this little area just happens to have some mushrooms. Like, I'm surprised the village itself doesn't actually have mushrooms growing in it. Especially because all the houses, like, are abandoned and... I'd assume moldy as well, like, because of their abandoned state. Okay, wait, is there even a way out? I am trapped. Help. Wait, get, get out first, Joe. <laughs> Just literally, like, gets rid of the whole tree, doesn't even get a way out. Oh, oh wait. Almost fell back in. <laughs> anyway. Enough of that. I thought there was pillagers over there. I'm like, oh no, I need, I need to get out now. Okay, to be honest, this is just going to be annoying if I leave it there. My brain won't be able to sleep at night knowing that I've left one single like block just there. I know, I hear you growling. But actually, can I? No, none in there. I'll have another look at the houses just in case. So I feel like it's a missed opportunity to make mushrooms grow in these houses. Or have mushrooms grow in the houses. Especially with how dark they are and there's like no torches. I know there wasn't one in there and I don't think there was any down there. There's a house down here, but I don't think there's any mushrooms in here either. Oh, excuse me, sorry. That's the chest. Hmm. Just looking out, hmm, I wonder if the water has any natural mushrooms just growing in it somehow. Okay. Yeah, I really don't think there's anywhere else. Unless I was meant to bone meal the ground and the like. That wouldn't even be a bad idea, actually, would it? Just bone mealing the ground, like the dirt underground, just to see if another mushroom grows. Especially beside a mushroom. I mean, it's worth a shot, honestly. Because I'm, I'm just so lazy with looking up shit that I'm just like, oh yeah, we'll just try a bunch of different things and see what works. And I keep interrupting, like, the growth of these, I swear down. I need to stop doing that. Like, maybe if I just, like, temporarily just block it off. Nah, it's still letting light in, but... Maybe if I just, I just do it, grow, grow. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just not arse anymore. What time? Eh, maybe I should go soon. Oh wait, there, Joe. That's your uh, problem now. Okay, so. If I'm even going to restore somewhere though, where, what am I going to restore next? Well, I mean, I have I have one door, do I? Yeah. So it's, I'm going to at least have to put this on another house with one door. N not the villagers' doors, because those are... Uh, they, they will knock them down. <laughs> they will not be happy with that. Or I could, yeah, just put it there. Just to have it there for the future. And then I'm going to have to remove it, because there's no way I'm going to have the thing there. 
It would be nice if I at least put this on the ground. Like, I don't mind him out in the, like, wild, but, like, leaving it like that, though, is, like, just cringe. Not as much as I am. Okay, and I also need to get more... Because I feel like this is probably the next best, like, place to actually do up the house right beside my house. I feel like I need another torch here. J just feels like it's getting a bit dark, not gonna lie. Oh. Right. To be honest, I think I might be capping when I say I have another day off, like, next week, but... Again, we'll see uh, on Wednesday, I guess, what happens. And all this just to make one fermented spider eye. Just leave those together. Uh, I'll just plant those. Books. Cobble. Uh, not that. Dirt. This. Take that. Right. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I meant to... If there was any wood... No, actually there wasn't. Never mind. We're gonna have to make everything by scratch now. Right. Let's see. So it's basically stairs and glass. Actually, yeah, I should have got the glass whilst I was in here. That's my beat. Oh. There it is. I forgot you can place down string as, like, wires. Uh... I need to make some stairs. I don't think I need to make much though. Right now, six. Oh yeah, no, six is enough. I thought it was seven I was using the whole time. That's the. Just a good show of my intelligence. Okay, let me just do this first. Oh, wait, there's already glass there. Never mind. I brought it out for no reason. Sorry to assume. Um, actually, I do need thing now. I do need cobble. We'll get actual nice cobble, not the mossy cobble. There we go. And then, just need to fill that gap. And then we're basically done already. Like, there's not much else we need to do to this house. Oh, except give it a torch, obviously. There we go. Nice new home. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Nice new home for a lovely villager to, li to live here someday. <laughs> it's just like slowly, just like the cracks are already showing. Like, um, I didn't even know I needed to replace that, to be honest. I thought I was already done with my own house. Really gives you fate in the restorer if they can't even fully restore their own house. Like, um,. Right. Yeah, I, I think right now I'm just going to go and actually, like, check on the mushroom one more time. And then if no, uh, like, extra mushrooms are grown, I'll just leave it here for today. Uh, Stoyera. You know, no, actually, I'll make another chest first before I go. Now we're stuck in the dilemma of me, like, legit saying I'm going to go, and then it's just like, oh, no, actually, just let me do this one more thing. One last thing. Swear down. One last thing. Uh, where am I? Yeah, I guess I'll just put it here. And, yeah, the blocks chest is grand. It's just this chest that needs, like... Okay, let me take this, this. Uh, this, this, this. This, this, this. Maybe this, 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 this. Uh, oh, there's a tree that just grew outside there. Um, maybe the bed, and then we'll leave it, well actually yeah, we'll take the other horse armor. If we're going to get one horse armor, we're going to get both, like, spruce and then oak, oak, spruce. Uh, I guess books can also go over here real quick, because I want mob loot to go down here, nether mob loot, uh, this is just in between loot. This is nether mob loot. 
and then natural. So we have seeds. Technically, these are all seeds. Technically, this is a seed as well. We have that ground. And now we can just do this. Well, actually, I'll put it the opposite side. Um, actually, frost walkers, I'll just leave on my person just to have them. Iron, I'll leave that on my person. Uh, I guess copper, you can somehow snuggle in with us. Uh, you can go there. Uh, the bed I brought for some reason, I don't know why. Because I'll just leave it in here. Again, at that point, it's just mycelia stuff. I am making the eye, so I'm going to like leave that here as a sign. Uh, okay, you guys can go up one. Yeah, you guys... Actually, no, you guys go up here. Uh, I'll keep that. I have the bow, just in case. Shield. Uh, tools. So, you can kind of go here. You can go here. Lapis. Redstone. there and then potatoes i don't even know why i have the potatoes there they're gonna go in here man every time i look at the game it just looks so nice do i wait video settings quality performance fans do i ha where's the uh oh there's field of view maybe if i lowered my p uh, p uh, field of view i actually would get better frames but I, I don't know why. I just love Max Field of View, honestly. Now, unless it's, like, something ridiculous where, it, like, loops around the back of your head, like, kind of style. Like, I wouldn't bother with that, but, yeah. <laughs> you need a 360-degree monitor surrounding your head for something like that. Uh, right, okay. And now we'll just check on the, um... Just check on these one last time. Just to double-check. I keep thinking there's a zombie down there, but there isn't. No, there isn't. It's just still growing. Unless, like, you know, I'm actually going to replace it with, like, dirt real quick. And then we're going to leave it there. Where is, uh, there's so many chests now. There's only three different chests. Well, four different chests, but still, so many. And just real quick, we're going to, like, dig up the ground. Just to give the mushroom, I guess, a bit more encouragement to grow. I don't know if it grows easier on, like, dirt, or if it, like, grows easier on other things, but... Maybe gravel, actually. Gravel, I think. I've found a few mushrooms on gravel before, but... Again, we'll see. I'll leave the current one, anyway, on stone, just to... Well, hopefully not interrupt its process any more than I already am. Even though there's already light, like, leaking into the place, like, and probably hindering its growth. Go. And to be honest, I'm not really going to use a lot of this like stuff anyway for anything else. So I might as well like use it up here. But yeah, hopefully by the next stream as well, I figure out like some sort of crowd control kind of stream thing. Uh, we have seven, so I can just go one, two, three, four. Oh, actually no, I'd rather. Oh, no, if it, if it grows, actually yeah, no, I'd rather move it down a bit more. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, this is smarter. If I just do this, and then do that. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, yeah, wait, no, just do that, yeah. Because then I can go down in there to actually check it out. Ah, uh, grand. And I'll leave the oak blocks here again. Just to signify that there's something important behind the wall. Right, I think that'll have to do. It's funny as well, because... <laughs> Even though the uh, last Minecraft VOD was called um, the filler movie arc, like, it's actually shorter, like, than this VOD right here. That's, like, almost four hours long for the... <laughs> it's like the um, season two first episode special, where it's, like, uh, <laughs> just as long as the actual movie itself. But yeah, anyway, let me just save and quit that. I hope now, by using shaders, it's not going to destroy the save files or anything like that oh my god i had that open in the background that's that would have been mad if i showed that it's nothing lewd or anything like that it's just like uh sherry Arbor story episode or episode volume 16 but yeah right this is going to be the final stream for the week hopefully i'll be back wednesday i'd assume 
But yeah, if you did enjoy the VOD, make sure to follow for more. Obviously, subscribe if you watch this on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'll see you hopefully uh, next time. Whether that be like the crowd control Minecraft or some other game or, well, continuing this series, we'll see. But yeah, again, thank you for watching and goodbye.